come over here. Oh, hello. Oh, that kill. Oh my god, that's nice. Such a Baby! Oh, baby! Baby! dead hello everybody welcome back how all oh, that's gonna be very loud ignore that turn that right down uh how are we all doing welcome to another youtube and twitch live stream playing some pubg solos today nice to be back we're um gonna have a little talk about the patch notes very quickly to get us started hey tell how you doing good to see you phil woody welcome jbo welcome uh, I thought we'd have a very quick look at the patch notes at the start of today, and then we'll, um, you know, we'll crack on, do our normal little warm-up routine, and then we'll play some pubbers. Bosh, patch notes. Uh, we're not going to go through these in great detail, I just wanted to skim through them so we're all familiar with them, and people who miss them can just scroll right back to the start of the YouTube VOD and see it. This is the patch, it's gone out on PC today, it's going out on console next Thursday as normal. Uh, we've got four different weeks of map pools coming uh, rather than the five different ones we had before. It's the same sort of idea. Uh, we have Erangel fixed every week, then the favoured maps, which is another set of three that rotate, and then the etc. list where there's like one of those each time, which is Paramo, Sanok, Karakin, uh, and Destin. Basically, Destin is in twice, Sanox in once, Paramo is in once, Karakin is not in at all. No Karakin uh, at all in our EU and NA rotation. The other ones are a bit of a mix of uh, Rondo, Takeover, Kendi, and Miri. Down on World, we've got the SMG rebalance. This is being tested out in arcade mode. We um, got some, you know, some information about this upcoming in the the dev letter the dev roadmap that i talked about in a video a couple of days ago 
Um, so this is like an SMG rebalance. They're testing in arcade mode. It's not going into the full game, but it'll be on the main, the live game, but only in this particular arcade mode for now. Um, which surprisingly, as well as also including the good thing first, is that they have increased the damage reduction for long range shots, for medium and long range shots. So made them less effective over longer distance, essentially, and reduced the minimum damage for long range shots. So again, a couple of nerfs to long range usage, which is great for SMGs. Something we've all been asking for, a lot of people have been asking for. Um, that does include, that includes all SMGs except the P90, by the way which is kind of interesting and fine. You know, it's a crate gun. It can be OP uh, and you get sort of all ammo for it anyway. But also on top of that, they seem to have decided they needed to buff the SMGs as well, which is kind of weird. I feel like they performed very well at close range already without needing to be buffed. I don't really, I feel like they beat ARs at close range already, but they've increased the damage on the MP5, the damage on the Bison, the damage on the Ump by two, which is a big jump for, for PUBG. Um, sorry, you can't really see it. It's behind my head. Uh, yeah, two point damage is a lot for a PUBG change. Same for the Bison, just one for the MP5. I can't remember ever like seeing an MP5 and thinking that's a gun that needs a buff. But there you go, they're trying it. And then they've also had their recoil decrease. Basically, all these are recoil buffs, decreases in recoil for the Vector Tommy Gun, Uzi MP5, Bison, and the UMP45. So um, some interesting stuff there. Not sure I agree with the um, the changes uh, there, particularly on console. But certainly the long range stuff is welcome. So we'll see if they do end up taking feedback on that and adjusting that before it goes before it goes live. Would be interesting to see. Uh, the recall system is going to be brought onto all eight by eight maps with this update, which is great. Comeback BR is gone. Well, will be gone next week on console for. Um, uh for vikendi and for tago that's going to be gone and replaced with blue chip recall they don't mention making any changes to it hopefully we'll see some improvements to it so you don't have to wait as long i think later game it's not too bad but when you're at the start and you die off the drop then you still have to wait for so long so if they can just put in some extra like drop in points to just reduce that wait time that'd be great but very very nice to see that starting to get unified across all the maps it's not been brought onto sanok yet but it is um, it is being brought into all the eight by eight maps, which is a good <clears throat> a good start. To sim you know, it's good for gameplay. It's good for new players being less confused. It's very positive. Um, utility belt being removed. They talked about that before. That's now going to be removed. Um, there's various compensation with G Coin and BP if you've bought stuff. Utility belt skins. The giddy suit is going to go into its own slot now, so it won't make you drop your clothing i believe it's going to take the empty slot where the utility belt was um and another cool thing weapon mastery there's now they've now added a load of new stuff for weapon mastery the frag grenade the sticky bomb the molly the blue zone grenade the c4 the panzer faust and the mortar blue zone grenade is kind of wild that's not that's gonna be a pretty hard one to level up i mean and the sticky bomb which are the sticky bombs, which are only available on Karakin, which isn't in rotation. So that one will be very, very hard to level up. Um, but it's cool to see uh, these things added. Frag grenade. I love. I might just go frag only. Frag only now. It's, you know, we could be the first to, uh, you know, max max out our frag kills. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. like the sound of that. And then there's some bug fixes and all the rest of it. Anyway couldn't read chat during all that i'm sure you've all been lively chatting away sorry for ignoring you i will now read all of your fantastic insightful responses to all of that uh jacko how you doing ro how you doing great to see you mate get that vecchi in your hand yes mate get him that vecchi um blowing up the car and the kills not counting is odd what did it say on that um starting from update 28.2 kills recorded from vehicle explosions Will no longer count towards your match report or weapon mastery stat. That is odd. I'd like some clarification on that. I don't mind it being like weapon mastery, but does it mean it just doesn't count on your like kills for that game? When it says match report, I'm not sure what that means. Or maybe it won't show that in your like damage breakdown, but it will still be in your, you know, your kill total. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll test that out and see if it is. Stoked, how you doing, mate? Great to see you. 
Um, and let me get over to um, say hello to all the lovely, lovely YouTube people. Dub, how you doing? Great to see you. Shay, welcome. Swally, I like the SMG notes. I like their disc. You've come a long way since Frank the um, Tank, and we don't want him coming back now, do I like we? that they're decreasing in distance damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, the the, 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 the damage stuff, that well, the, the distance damage stuff is, um, you know, is fantastic for the SMGs. I'm just not sure we needed the other buffs to go with it. Uh, hey, Debeef, how you doing? And I, th I think it's quite a good example, this, of Criminy. My wife asked me to stop singing Wonderwater. I said, maybe. I said, maybe. Hey, short bus, how you doing? Excellent streak there, Crim. 10 out of 10. Let me get my correct chat window up now. Uh, hey, Colt, how you doing? Decreasing distance damage is a correct move. 100%. 100%. I would also would say it'd be nice to see them remove the limb damage multiplier because SMGs do increased damage when you hit people in the limbs, which is kind of unusual. Uh, but certainly the distance thing is a good start. You know, that's the most annoying thing. If I get beamed by an SMG at 10 meters or 5 meters, it's an SMG. I get it. If I get beamed by an SMG at 50 meters, 100 meters, 150 meters, you know, then it's starting to be like, I feel like an AR should be more effective. Um, so that's great. Juan, how you doing? Great to see you, mate. Juan Britonina. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, so some positive stuff there and some slightly confusing stuff, I think, with the other little buffs they made to SMGs. I think the thing is, what I was going to say is, it's kind of... Um, it, I think it kind of shows... I feel like I'm quite quite low down in the camera again here. Let's have a little look at me. Let me camera look. Ooh, all the way up there. There we go. We can tilt it down a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and then we there we go. Professional. Um, it's interesting how they they don't do buffs and nerfs separately for console and PC. Despite the fact that console and PC have very different recall, right? On console, we have significantly less recall. And, you know, the, the challenge on console is more, I would say, aiming at your targets and snapping to targets and pointing your cursor at targets than it is recall. I know some people struggle with recoil. But uh, whereas on PC, not that I'm a PC expert because I never really play it. Have I got a splinter? No, it's a bit of pen. Um, I thought you'd like to know that. Uh, on PC, I feel like the the challenge is more the uh, the recoil because it's stronger and it's obviously very easy to snap to a target with a mouse. You know, just try pointing your mouse at something on your screen right now if you're on a computer. It's quite easy. Look, oh, I clicked on the tab that says Twitch. Nailed it. First try. I'm a wizard. I'm a professional PUBG esports player. I can point at things with a mouse. But when there's recoil, it gets um, it gets quite challenging. So. Uh, yeah, I think when they do stuff like buff SMGs like that, they're already more powerful on console than they are on PC because SMGs you can kind of hip fire, you can over shoulder aim. So the aiming part is a lot easier. And then when the recoil is even less, like, I don't know, and the damage increase on them as well without the limb multiplier being taken away. It'd be interesting to see how it is. I hope they make some adjustments to that. I'm not sure it needs any of that stuff, certainly for console, but we shall see. There's certainly lots of positive stuff to... Um, to take there and and you know obviously having the stuff where they reduce the damage that smgs do over distance is very very positive and if that has a significant enough effect then that might make the other stuff not feel super relevant or worth uh, worrying about i looked up the ump 45 on wiki it claims the effective range is 65 meters Pretty sounds about what you'd expect, doesn't it? 100 meters to be beamed with an SMG is mental, yeah. Hey, Griff Monster, how you doing? And Bushman, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope they don't touch the VSS. It's been shredding lately. They haven't mentioned they're going to, so we shall see. They did say, um, you know, they said in the patch notes, well, not in the patch notes, but in the dev letter, that 
they would be, you know, making balance adjustments to guns every couple of months going forward. Was their was their plan uh, buffing underpowered stuff? You know, maybe uh, nerfing underpowered stuff. I don't know where they would feel the VSS fits into those camps. It's hard to kind of gauge. A lot of the time, they they judge this stuff on mostly on data. It's quite data driven, so they'll look at like win rates across like all players with a certain gun or um you know pickup rates kill rates kds average damage stuff like that let the dog out uh you know they yeah they base it on data a lot of the time so i it's hard to know what you know what the data on the vss is saying it's certainly not a gun that i feel gets talked about by anyone in terms of either being overpowered or underpowered i can't remember ever hearing anyone in recent memory ever saying to me that they think the vss is op or 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 not powerful enough vss is a dmr yeah so i would you know i'd hazard a guess that it's probably quite safe Hey Chris, how you doing? Any great biscuits lately? Um, I haven't had any new ones. I mean, I, I, I mean, interesting biscuit update for this week is that I, I had to refrain from putting chocolate digestives on the shop this week. Had a Morrison's shop delivered earlier, earlier today. I didn't put any on because I just eat them so quick. I just, I think I need, to, I just have to kind of stop, stop buying nice snacky things because I just eat them all. And at the, which is normally okay, but because at the moment I'm doing so much like marathon training or ultra training. I'm running a lot of miles now, a lot of days a week. I'm just always hungry. My body is just burning calories like nothing. And so I'm snacking a lot. So I'm trying to sort of buy less um, unhealthy snacks to have in the house because I'll just eat them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So the one maybe might, might be quite such um, exciting biscuit stories to tell for a little while. You'll be, I know you'll all be heartbroken to, to hear that. Hey, Barmy Badger. How you doing, Limp? How you doing? Looks like a nice coffee. It is a nice coffee. The classic, the Nescafe Zero. I've actually got a, like a posh coffee machine downstairs now that my dad gave me. He had like a, a, I think it's a Krupp one or something. I don't know. It's one of those ones you put capsules in. But he was going to get rid of it because he well, he was getting rid of it because he got a different one. And he was like, do you want this? I was like, sure. It's free. So I've got that now, which I think I used once the day that he gave it to me a few weeks ago. I haven't touched since. But I've got that there as an emergency backup. So if I run out of normal coffee and I, I can pop a little capsule in and have an espresso or something. It has like a milk steamer and stuff on it as well. But it just seems like a lot of effort to go to to make a coffee. Frothing milk and all that stuff. Like maybe on my birthday. On, my, on our anniversary. How you doing Floaty? Great to see you mate. I'm the same while I have the power not to buy biscuits if they do make it in the house and it's all over in minutes yeah i take very much the same approach to all <laughs> like junk food snacking oh uh, yeah i'm 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 good to be able to stop myself from buying the stuff in the first place but once it's bought it's game over it's game over man when ultra training or training for anything the mad calories are bad calories are king if you have to stop once you knock the ultra train in the head yeah, it's a trying to. I, I've I've got like loads of yogurts and like healthier snack bars and yeah, just trying to um, snack more, uh, more healthily. It's nice though because I like I really like eating food. Um, I'm, I would say I'm above average in my enjoyment of food. I love to eat just all the time. So being extra hungry is great. Like I had lunch the other day. Then we went around to my mum and dad's just after lunch and he was like do you want a sausage sandwich I'm like fuck yeah i want a sausage sandwich great had a sausage sandwich came home had dinner it's brilliant what a life just eating all the time had to go teetotal on sugar as soon as i have some of that i'm done no going back i don't know what difference like sugar has on me really like i you know i don't know what effect that would have on my body my mind if i did not consume any sugar I don't think I have a super high sugar diet, but I I certainly don't manage it super carefully. Like, I don't tend to eat, like, too much sweets and stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd say I probably probably am, like, below average. But, um, yeah, I don't know. 
It's not, I'm never really trying to like watch my weight or anything. Because I'm just a skinny bastard. So yeah, I don't know what kind of difference to my life cutting out sugar would have. Like I have like half a sugar in my uh, my coffee. I have like a tiny little, um, a tiny little whisker of, a whisper of sugar. What's that um, bullshit medicine thing? Homeopathy. It's like a homeopath's you know, amount of sugar in the coffee. It's like a a granule of sugar is brushed against the cup three weeks ago. That's kind of the amount I go for. Processed sugar is bad for you. You get a crazy buzz. Yeah, I've never really, I've never really had that that issue. I guess I do burn my body. I think my metal metabolism is just very high and just burns through everything very very quickly. I always find having a nice healthy snack in the house to have when I'm getting cravings helpful. Mine is Weetabix. I couldn't, Weetabix wouldn't work for me. Weetabix is a, do you get Weetabix in America? Weetabix is a cereal, breakfast cereal in the UK. It's like a, I don't know, like a, what the fuck is Weetabix? It's like a kind of a, <laughs> a thing you pour milk on and eat for breakfast. I don't know. That's cereal, isn't it? Anyway, it's vaguely healthy cereal. Like a, bra is it bran? Not like from um, Game of Thrones. Someone can define what you're because that'd be great. It's a carpet tile, exactly. Only one, 91, how you doing? Welcome. There should be drops on, on Twitch, by the way. Can you see drops on the Twitch page? Are they working? If not, oh, I don't know. What can you do? Hmm, maybe they're not active yet. A wheat biscuit. Made of wheat. That does, that makes a lot of sense now, I think about it, yeah. Mine is grapes. Oh, yeah, I, I just destroy grapes. Made of wheat. You learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> I can't. Weetabix wouldn't work for me because I, I, I wouldn't want to eat them without putting a thick layer of sugar on top. So I don't buy those. When I was a kid, I'd just have like such a thick layer of sugar on top of Weetabix. Um. I'll do one more of these, then we'll we'll do an actual game. Frosted mini wheats, not wheaties. Probably the same sort of thing, but Weetabix is just like without, it doesn't have sugar or any like sweetener or whatever. It's literally just like, you know, boring, healthy cereal. And then you cover it in sugar yourself. I've been doing a lot of like calorie mathematics the last few days for um I don't count my calorie intake through normal like day-to-day -day life but um working out for nutrition for when I run this ultra I'm doing a 50 mile ultra marathon in a couple of months and just kind of working out my calorie consumption it's been quite interesting because looking at like researching like how many calories the body can absorb in an hour and you know how much you should take on when you're running and stuff and trying to plan that when you're out for like a you know a 10 hour running event it's quite interesting i feel like my left stick is getting a bit sticky like a lot of the time i'm trying to do these left leans and it's not actually left leaning all right let's play pubg I do love a grape viv. Like pink grapes, purpley grapes. The um sable grapes, that's the oh mate. If you had sable grapes, they like crack. But I well I've not had crack. I assume it's very Moorish. People seem to like it. It's like crack but without the um without the obvious negative effects. Candy floss grapes. Yeah, I think that's that's is that sable grapes, so I remember they the same sort of thing, isn't it? Very I'm, I'm nice. cock a hoop. I think it's terrific. I loved it. Bloody lovely. Flo for the healthy snack fund. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I'll put that towards some healthy snacks. If you're not smiling, balls to you. Wahoo. 38 hot months of beard guys, PUBG. Cheers for all the content, Ben. Thank you very much, Switch. Appreciate the uh, support, buddy. Great to see you. Um... So do you cater your diet to energy and body repair, food consumption? Not really. No, I don't. 
I don't I haven't adjusted my diet specifically towards running and recovery at all. Um, I just feel I like I eat. I just try and eat a balanced, relatively healthy diet. You know, we don't eat much like processed food. We don't eat much, you know, in the way of like ready meals and stuff. We kind of cook pretty much all our meals from scratch. Um, so we know what's in them. Uh, you know, we eat lots of vegetables. I eat pretty pretty good amount of fruit these days. So I yeah, you know, I have a lot a lot of time after my runs. I'll make like a fruit smoothie. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of like recovery powder stuff in there that I've got like science and sports stuff, but not. I don't really bother with that often these days. But no, I don't. I don't have like a, a diet that I've adjusted specifically because I'm a runner. I just try and eat vaguely, fairly healthily. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. What are we doing? This, oh, I did that. But meh. I started HelloFresh recently to help with calorie counting. It's enlightening. We had a really nice HelloFresh bo box a while ago. Like last year, I think it was. We got a free one that one of Sean's friends like didn't, didn't want because it had like spicy stuff in it. So she just gave it to us. And they were really nice. But like, I mean, like my problem with that then was like the box had, was just like had so much like single use plastic and stuff in it. I don't know if they're different now, but like everything in it you know, you have all these like tiny little measured out things in like a tiny little plastic pack for like your four granules of pepper or whatever. Whereas if I buy stuff at home and cook it, then I buy things in big packs. And at least then if they do come in plastic, it's something that, you know, is last. It's a it's a pack of something that is going to sit there for like months or a year or, or whatever. So that kind of grated on me. Like, I know they're not super cost effective, but they're, they're you know, they're there for the convenience. Oh, it looks very weird with the shadow there. I thought that was the shadow of my chair. <laughs> looks like the shadow of my chair behind me. <laughs> oh, I thought my green screen was playing up. Oh, this is nice. Like, look, I've got a little shadow. Um, But, you know, they're, they're not there to be super cost effective. They're there to be, what, like, convenient, encourage you to eat better, encourage you to eat more things, encourage you to cook. Um, you know, they're there if you, you know, to, to try different things. So, you know, you pay a premium for that. Less food waste. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but if they manage to, if they rebalance things with in terms of like the plastic and stuff, I'd, you know, I'd be a lot more favorable on it. Batch cooking is your thing. Yeah, I don't do a huge amount of batch cooking. I mean, we tend to have a bit of leftovers when we do stuff and have like a portion or two that gets frozen, but it's not like deliberate batch cooking. Fuel is the way forward. Not the same deal as HelloFresh. I love the adverts. So good. I've never tried Huel. Not tried it. Hey, Justin. Sorry, how you doing? I found grocery shopping and healthy eating to be so much easier when I was in the UK. That's interesting. Is, was there anything, like, particularly that made you think that? Like, compared to the US. What about out ice baths? They're godly for recovery. I do 10k a week. Uh, I haven't done an ice bath. You can like buy them now. I guess you could just chuck a load of ice in your actual bath, couldn't you? You can like buy like a inflatable ice bath or something. Uh, hey, Jamie T. How you doing? You were being sarcastic. Right. Got you. Thanks. Sure. Just go go shopping. I eat pizza. Pizza's nice. I like pizza. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm trying to catch up with chat. People are so chatty today. I love it. Uh, someone asked what I had for breakfast. Uh, I had crunchy nut. <laughs> I tend to just eat very quick and easy breakfast. Sometimes I'll make like a fruit smoothie if I can be bothered. Normally I just have a bowl of cereal and then I had like a ham and cheese sandwich for lunch. Breakfast and lunch I just kind of rush through. I sometimes have a bagel with peanut butter and then we like cook a proper dinner. But yeah, breakfast and breakfast and lunch are just sort of quick, convenient meals. Ooh. We plan a week's eating and buy accordingly. I mean, I pretty much do that. You know, I, I I buy the food, order the food shop specifically for the things that I'm planning on cooking that week.
Hey, Sparky, how you doing? Who doesn't like pepperoni pizza? Exactly. Well, we had some on Saturday, actually, because we were going out to the pub. I'm not saying us, you know, I'm not saying really healthily every day. Um, yeah, we had, uh, we it's actually, we had Domino's, which we hadn't had for ages, but my missus wanted to try the, um, the carbonara pizza they had, uh, just uh, announced because she likes carbonara, which is something I make quite a lot at home, but she wanted to try the carbonara pizza, <laughs> uh, which was, it was, she said it was great. It was pretty nice. <laughs> it was pretty good. I think I just preferred the normal pepperoni, but it wasn't bad. Domino's vegan pizza is actually pretty decent. I've not tried it. You can get pretty good, like, vegan pizzas these days, certainly. Like, there's a place, there's, like, an independent place near us that we've had vegan stuff from a few times when, like, you know, if a friend has been around who's, who's vegan or whatever. And, um, and they've actually been, um, yeah, they've been pretty good. Try and grab a few bits. Take a moment's break from talking. My favorite thing sometimes is like when you put a video up or you're streaming or whatever and you get a comment from someone, no one's done it today, you get a comment from someone saying that you talk too much. And it's like, I thought that was literally the point of the point of live streaming. Look at these tax stocks, you're spoiling me, PUBG. Double barrel time, hey Spidge. What are you planning to um, grind out some weapon mastery on one of the new exciting explodey things, Pigeon? I guess uh, what Panzer is going to be right up your alley, isn't it? Although C4, you're also into your C4. Um, what is this? I just give me a give me a gun that I want. Don't I get something for looting two frags? I got rid of that one. Okay, I've nearly run two thousand kilometers like in this building. It's fantastic. Uh, am I tempted to try Hell Divers too? Well, yeah, I'd have to do it on PC. Which is just because it's on PlayStation, isn't it? So it's just a... It's just a little awkward. Um, because... I have to kind of plug in like a separate laptop to the computer to try and stream from that and hope that the game runs alright on it. Because um, I just have like a single PC setup. So I would... I If it was on Xbox, I would be playing Helldivers 2... All the time, I'm sure, but um, it's not. So why are we still got this stupid shotgun? There's not been anything in here. I mean, oh, that's not even the one I meant to switch. God's sake. Honestly. Shut up, you chatterbox. Thank you. Exactly, like just like that. I forgot we're in a game. Yeah, we are. We're in a in a video game. Oh look, it's the the thing that stops us dying. It's handy. I'm almost tempted to shut out for a PS5 for Helldivers. I was mulling over the other day, to be honest. I was like, hmm. I mean, this there's been such shite loot in here. This is crazy. Oh, let's go get a car. We'll just shoot people and take their things, right? Uh, yeah, it does look a lot of fun. I mean, PS5 is just very expensive, but it, you know, if I feel I've got the the cash for it, then it's um, it'd be useful because it would open up lots of opportunities for other games I could make content on for YouTube. So I need to have a little think, but I'm I'm kind of tempted. You could get us to crowdfund a PS5 for you. Oh, I don't really I don't really like doing stuff like that. I I'm not a fan of the kind of like having your little, you know, your tip bar and being like new PC fund or pay the rent fund or I just feel it's kind of like preying on people. I don't know. It just doesn't sit with well with me that kind of thing. Like I'd rather just I'd rather, you know, try and make good content that people enjoy and run a successful channel and if that gives me enough finance to buy extra stuff for the channel then great without you know without begging for it just just how i feel maybe it's because i'm british don't you know 
you know, we don't need a we don't need a beg bar. People are already paying money to support us by subbing on Twitch, by Patreon, by YouTube memberships, and you know, and all the rest of it. So, Helldivers is one of those weekend night games with your friends. It's the other thing is if I was playing Helldivers, I don't know who I would play it with in the daytime. I'd have to find a little squad of, you know, um, you know, entertaining fellows to um, to stream it with. But it does look a lot of fun. I mean, I know Chewie and Disco and Lamb have been playing it, but that's kind of a bit outside of my streamy times. But, but you know, there'd be other things on PlayStation I could play as well, which would be, which would be fun to try out sometime. Cheers, Ben. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. The membership trifecta, exactly, like, like Short Bus knows. Yeah, Chewie has been playing it. But it'd be hard to get him on when I'm on, I think. It would be a bit of an issue. Might be worth holding off. Rumors of a PS5 Pro soon. Original may drop in price. It is very expensive, isn't it? It's like nearly 500 quid to buy him at the moment. If it went on sale like under 400, I'd probably uh, go for it. Might have to start selling those feet pics again. <laughs> hey, Dave. <laughs> Sorry, the chat's moving really quickly. Apologies if I miss anything anyone says. If you feel I did miss what you said, feel free to just yell it again a few minutes later. And, you know, I'll p we'll all pretend like it was still funny the second time. We'd also have to crowdfund Chewie moving back to the UK. <laughs> He did. He's not moved to Bangladesh because he's broke. It wasn't like a, you know, he's ru or running away from some sort of uh, police persecution. <laughs> Maybe it was, and he just didn't tell me. That'd be a good story, wouldn't it? You never know. You know, you think you know people so well, and then they tell you they're running away, you know, for for crimes they allege that they didn't commit. Hey, buddy. Your car is very slow, so you can't catch me. Ha ha ha. Isn't there a lake here? There is a bit of a lake. Let's try not to drive into the lake. Yeah, I'd really like to play some Helldivers with Chewie for sure. I mean, what would be a more sensible thing to do would be to um, try it on PC first, right? Play it through my laptop on PC rather than going spanking 500 quid on a PlayStation 5. Um, so I should just do that. I just need to find a time when I can get on with Chew, maybe maybe Disco, maybe Lammy. Hey, hey buddy. Don't worry, it's okay. I'm just going for this. Oh! What is this nonsense? God, we've had to drive away, haven't we? Just start streaming on kick in a hot tub on the weekends. You only need about you know, 10 subs and no integrity on kick. And then, you know, you're making bank, aren't you? It's hell for drivers. Nice. Um, where are we? It's not really much in the way. I was going to go and get a bit of loot because I'm still running an M16 with an 8X, but we'll just just kill someone now. There's still 49 people left alive. Is it crazy? Crate day. Well, it worked quite well last week on my solo session when I was doing crates, didn't it? So, we'll just, you know, more of the same. And a lot of guff here, aren't I? Oh, we've got a battle ready kit has appeared a momentary from some other non something or other. Of this? Not that much ammo for it, are we? Let me just have this, clear up some space. The man did iron a steak. That's true, he did iron a steak. What wouldn't he do? Guff. Great wordage. Yeah, guff's a good word, isn't it? Top tier, that one. 
Should we, um, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of QBU, but I think it's probably a good shout, isn't it? It's got to be better than an M16. I've still yet to ever see one of the safes that apparently exist in this game <laughs> on this map. Oh, there's birdies here. I hear the bird cage. Got it. I win. Bring back the Larrys! Yeah, we've done random Larrys for a bit. It's true. Give it a go. Where's all the players of this bloody map? Honestly. We saw one on that... Well, two on that drive-in, didn't we? To the crate. But I was busy getting the crate. I'll have to drive around and find someone. You monster! You monster! Thought I heard something. Okay, we've got to not do the thing that you do when you've been looking for people for ages and you're just get impatient and drive up on them in a really stupid way and get immediately killed, right? Please remind me not to do that. Um, that'd be great. Hey Rev, how you doing? Had a couple of games earlier with one of our better clan members. He lost the will to live after five minutes when he got killed. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the changes they're making to the clan system at some point. Oh, I've got shit on my monitor. Oh, that's annoying. It looked like the plane. That's just some shit. There we go. We could just wait at the bus stop. Someone might come along. Ooh. There you go, found someone. Should have hit me when I stood still with the bus stop, mate. Was there a time frame given for Unreal 5? Um, no, there wasn't. Fair play for giving it a go. Maybe we'll keep the QBU. Can I summarize the changes at your next convenience? What, for the next update? Um, sure. There, there's an SMG rebalance which you can test in an, an arcade mode. This is all out on PC today, by the way, or next Thursday for consoles. There's SMG rebalance available for testing within arcade mode in the main game itself. Um, you'll be able to do weapon mastery. Um, you'll be able to do weapon mastery now for um, new stuff like C4, frags, blue zone grenades, Panzerfaust, stuff like that. Just standing in the middle of the open. Absolutely fine. And, um, you know, probably some other some other shit. Oh, yeah, the uh, the blue chip recall is being rolled out to all 8x8 maps. So it's been... Comeback BR is going to be removed from Tago and Vikendi. And then... Um, and then we will see... A blue chip recall instead being implemented on those maps. Oh, there's the old one. Already done. I don't know where the crate went. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's here. Random lad with a pistol here. Where's this third party guy that sniped me? Or was that the guy that sniped me, maybe? Who knows? TBG going for the first sticky bomb mastery. That's going to be a very challenging one, especially considering that Karakin is not even in rotation 
after the next update <laughs> at all. Um, it's yeah, it's quite quite a challenging one. It's only if they're only on that map. Just unlucky. If we hadn't had that bolt here, it would have been fine. We weren't going to get killed by a pistol. SMG balance means nothing because they still do the limb damage. Well, the positive change for the SMGs was the reduction of uh, damage over distance, which is the, a big, very big thing for SMGs. I still have zero crossbow kills after five years. Yeah, I don't know what, how many I have. I mean, I don't know if I have any on mastery in this, but obviously there were kills before that mastery system came into effect. So I had a, a handful, but uh, but very few. Any thoughts on what the changes to matchmaking might entail? Not sure what they can do with console. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I, they said they want to kind of make it so there's more like skill-based matchmaking. But as you say, I don't think with console there's enough players to really make that work. You know, you don't want to slow down queues anymore. I think we'd all just rather play with, you know, matchmaking how it is now in relation to skill-based matchmaking, matchmaking than have skill-based matchmaking and much slower queues which would be the trade-off right i really hope the destructible scenery works out and isn't just well i can dig a hole now yeah i'm i'm interested to see what that ends up being um hopefully there's more to it than just the the holes I, you know, I like the idea of explosions. Leaving little craters sounds kind of cool. And it's been interesting to see how deep they go and how much that affects gameplay. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what the kind of effect, if there's anything related to buildings and solid cover that changes in any way. If they could reduce the timer once the lobby's full, that would be a start. I mean, that's something... But I mean, what they talked about was matchmaking was more to help struggling regions which makes me think more like queues which are normally full of bots and really really slow regions like um the oceana service and stuff and they also talk about the skill mate base matchmaking stuff they they didn't really talk about the idea of speeding up kind of averagely performing queues i guess which is more what we've talked about in the past where we'll say like you know can we make it so the lobby countdown starts uh when the lobby's like 80 players or something or or even like 60, 70 players. And, you know, it just plays with however many players are in the lobby when that timer runs out. Or, you know, the match countdown has changed to one minute or 30 seconds or 45 seconds or something. Just to, like, speed up the time you spend in between games a little bit. The scenery holes would be great if it matched up to red zone destruction. Ah, oh, that'd be great. Yeah, if the red zone comes down and, like, leaves a massive crater field... Could be very cool. I like the sound of that. Could be, could be busy. Perhaps they could start with lower numbers and a portion of the map at off-peak times like super people. Oh, I never really played it. That's interesting. Hey, Fatty. How you doing? Like, I feel like I'd be fine playing the game in you know lobbies that ranged from 80 to 100 players if it meant my matchmaking was like... 25% faster or something. I feel like I'd be happy with that that trade-off. I think they're both over there. Gonna just jump down there, but we need to be a bit more sensible, I think. Get armor. Oh, I also I didn't load the shotgun, I loaded the uh the Winnie. <laughs> I was about to leap down there.
guy has no idea. Jeez. Uh, oh, you had a lot of those, didn't you? Poor old Norbert, I know. to go and have a look at that. Fred Fredid Juana just killed a man with an AK up here. Fuck it. Dear Mars for sissies. He's in there. I just saw him. Let us open crates and look at stats until the game starts. Yeah, it'd be nice to have more to do, wouldn't it? Here you go, buddy. There he is. Can we see down through these windows? I don't need to deal with that, really. How far away are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, he shot him nicely there. Come, mate, go for the loot. Oh, did he get run over? There were two kills in the feed. I didn't see with a sec. I feel like he maybe got run over as well. I just glanced at the one that had his name at the start. No, he's alive. That grenade tagged him nicely. Very nice. Um, cool. Right, let's sort my shit out. Oh, frags. We need to get practicing with our frags ready for, uh, you know, frag, uh, frag mastery, don't we? Become the master of the, master of the frag. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Why is everyone driving over here? 
This guy brought us the truck as well, which is nice of him. Can I come loot? No. Have you seen how well PUBG is doing on Steam? Eight consecutive months of player growth. Um, yeah, I mean, I see stats around like that, but I find, I feel to me those stats are irrelevant without seeing them in a, with a regional breakdown. Because it doesn't make any difference to, to me if the game is, you know, massive in, in Asia, but stagnant or declining in eu and na because those aren't like the people we're playing with and those aren't our audiences you know it's good for, that's good for pubg as a whole but uh i'd be interested to see a regional breakdown cheers switch appreciate that rob how you doing you really dudded that guy Uh, what do I think of the SMG balancing? I think there's some positives and some negatives. Certainly the reduction of damage, you know, over distance is one of the main things that needed to be done. That's great. I would have liked to see the more so get rid of the limb damage multiplier for SMGs. Um, and I don't think they needed the, the buffs that have gone to a load of the SMGs. I'm not sure, particularly on console. I don't think they're needed at all. Those are all, those SMGs are all effective at close range anyway, so I'm not really sure what the purpose of those buffs is. Don't run away. Have a little fight. One hundred and five meters. Exactly. Iconic. Hey Tom, how you doing mate? You've really fallen out of love with the M4. It does take a while to drop people, yeah. I still struggle a bit with the org, like the recoil though. I, I'm just more of a barrel kind of guy these days, but just thought we'd give this a, a whirl. Why not? Doesn't make you miss the old org though, doesn't it? What a glorious gun that was. The old crate org. Double crate org. Woo, that's a loadout. Now that there was a great loadout. Things are driving off, okay. Different man. Well, no chance of winning that. Back in my day, the org used to be in a crate. Would you happen to know or have a video on what to do if your bitrate is showing red, but the stream looks stable? Oh, I have no idea, Danger Mouse. Sorry, mate. I just have to Google it. Man after Harvey GG's heart. Yeah, he loved the AK, didn't he? Trix is a bit of a swear. It wasn't the guy that I was fighting that killed me. I don't think it was the guy who shoot me up the hill, right? It was the third party, I think. I just miss as many shots of the M4 as I do with the 7s. At least the heavens 7s hit counts or something. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Bunch of rude people interrupting your chats today. Yeah, I know. It's kind of the solo vibe, isn't it? I mean, certainly both games today are just like 
we've just been killed in ways where there's literally nothing we could have done apart from hiding and not fighting people. Unfortunately, just getting getting put into red health by a third party. That's PUBG. I stopped using the M4 since the org got introduced. Yeah, I just not. I don't know. I'm just not been a huge fan of the new org. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the the new weapon mastery stuff for um where's that under weapons tab here to start seeing grenades and pants and stuff in here there's gonna be a lot more people using panzers I guess trying to level that up my barrel is starting to catch up with the m4 now Still got higher average damage from the M4. A lot of that was before it got nerfed, though. Maybe the barrel's been affected by me playing so much duos with Nacho where he just can kill everyone before I, before I shoot him. We had some much more balanced games this week, actually, didn't we? We had a couple of good ones. I just have to be, like, super super on it like my reactions to shooting people has to be so quick to drop anyone before nacho does his reactions are so good his accuracy is so good why is that uzi not mastered yeah i know i sort of stopped using it as much i used to use it a lot when i did a lot more solos and when we had the old emt gear and i'd run like uzi emt on tago all the time it was a lot of fun how you doing craig good to see you by the way wit how you doing Red Rum, how are you doing? Any marathons or big runs coming up? Yeah, I've got North Downs Way 50, 50 miler in May is my big race I'm training for at the moment. That's what it's all about. Speaking of great players, got to boast about this. I killed Gar for the first time ever in a Uzi proper fight either. last night. Nice. I have done it. Not, not often. <laughs> it has happened. Fresh pizza rolls made by your daughter for lunch. Nice. That sounds great. My last encounter with Gar was, with Gar was a punch-up we had last week, I believe, which he, he narrowly won. There's close, close margins. Nacho was in training, easily hit like 36 kills and ran out of ammo. It's nuts, isn't it? He's just like, the way he can sn snap to points is beyond what I can do. Very, very quick. Fried, how you doing? Good to see ya. Muffin man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I got the um, the camper van was successfully towed yesterday. Anyone ever, anyone ever been been towed? It's quite, it was quite nerve wracking, and it sort of went from nerve wracking to exciting to like satisfaction. It was like, it was like losing my my towing virginity. Seen someone say the Unreal Engine Five is coming in December. That's not true, right? We've not been given a timeline on it, so no idea. He didn't rogue. first tow yeah i've not been not had to be towed before so my cat i've got a vw camp van old t25 and it's been broken down on the road a couple of miles from my house for a few days i finally got it towed yesterday to my my garage i was in the van yeah i was driving the van or steering the van it was a bar because I didn't really know about different methods of towing. I was expected to be like a rope. And then I was going to be like, oh god, I have to like break so I don't smash into the back of the RAC van. But it was, yeah, a fixed bar. So you don't have to do anything where you steer. And he did give me some advice on where to, you know, tell me to where to position the van. So that it doesn't like fall over and stuff. But, um, yeah, the, you, don't, you don't break or anything. You're just like just steering away. But it's quite weird because you've got the RAC van is probably about, I don't know what, two to three meters in front of you. 
and you can't see past it because it's a van. So I'm literally just like, and we went down the motorway at like 50. So I'm on the motorway being towed, <laughs> looking at the back of an RAC van. I can't see anything else. Yeah, the bar was very easy. I had a VW T4, so it was a regular on the tow truck. Yeah, this was my first experience. Panic, then exception, then enjoyment. Exactly. Exception. Ooh, that's a nice that's a nice word. Oh, that's all shite, isn't it? Around here they tend to lift the front. No one in the vehicle. Ah right, yeah, okay. I mean, I guess that's definitely something they can also do here. But yeah, I don't know what the the preference is. We weren't going far. Maybe they, maybe that's if you're towing far. Like we were only going five or six miles. So I don't know. Maybe they do that for um, if you're going a bit further, where they lift the front up. I mean, five or six miles. You don't, you can't get anywhere in America, right? You're not even off your drive yet. You're still in the garage. You've gone five miles. Oh, I've landed here. I don't know this area at all. America. Double JS9 can just be the double day. Doubles day, right? You've got that memo. You know, we're doing doubles day today. Double trouble. Double your money. Double your money. No kangaroo jumping like with a rope. No, it seemed um pretty, pretty okay with the tow bar. He said I did a, it did a good job. He was he was proud of me. The the man felt like he had accepted me into the fraternity of um you know tow towers and towees. Perhaps our wealth of advanced tow trucks is due to the constant stream of car repossessions. <laughs> but yeah, I was um, I was pretty pleased. It went pretty smoothly. I had to do it yesterday. I couldn't do it on a stream day because you saw, you know, I phoned him at like nine in the morning, and then it's like, oh, we don't know when we'll be there. We'll call you like ten minutes before, and then they came at like one o'clock. So, which was fine because I wasn't streaming, but I, you know. At least the van's in the right place now. It's annoying that it's broken down, but it's at, the, it's at my mechanics, so when he gets the time, he can have a look at it and sort out whatever's wrong with it. Uh, they don't generally do that in the US with the tow bar, you mean? Unless the tow is from a friend where you cobble something together. I mean, this was like, you know, it was a proper, like, tow bar. It's not like, he didn't just sort of MacGyver something together out of scrap metal. He was a professional, professional tow tow smith. It's all very quiet. I mean, someone opened that door. Oh, fuck me. Jesus. These people. <laughs> Hiding around the, behind the building with an Uzi. Fuck me. Well, how are you meant to, what are you meant to do? He <laughs> was standing still behind a building with a fucking Uzi. Honestly. The cheek of it. I hadn't heard a single footstep. Been enjoying the Ben and Ben days. It is rude, isn't it? I might put in a complaint to um, uh, the appropriate board and authority that deal with that sort of thing. Nothing quite like the nod of approval by a mechanic, plumber, builder. Exactly, yeah. Especially as a very unhandy middle class man. Surprise! 
What's your PUBG update video? Looks like a couple of decent changes in the pipeline. Having the consistent buyback will save me from getting confused regularly. It's nice to see, yeah, the consistent um, blue chip recall thing. That's one of the big things that I've been saying. You know, that's the single biggest change. If they can make one change, that's the change I'd like to see. Um, so that's very positive. I would also like to see them improve it slightly so that when you came back from blue chip recall, there was a smaller gap between the weight that you had to, you know, wait for um, to come back. You know, but a later game, I don't think it matters quite so much. But early game, you know, if you die right at the start, then you have a big wait. If you die a bit further into the game, it doesn't matter quite as much because you only normally have like maybe one or two minutes, which I think is okay. But they maybe need to put in an extra drop or two, I think, in the first phase or two, something like that. You got a six minute wait last game, yeah. He left the doors open, I, so we knew there was someone there, but he was just hadn't moved. So I guess he uh, was was crouch walking around or standing still, being stealthy. Middle class and the rest. You must be you must be dead common then, Rob. <laughs> it's all relative. The one thing I really took from the update schedule was that Crafton actually listened to the players for a change. Absolutely. I think like Nacho and I were saying on Monday, you know, a lot of the, so many of the changes or the proposed changes, I should say, in the dev um, plan, the dev roadmap that they revealed. And some of the stuff in the update that just got announced today is all, is you know, is very much geared around stuff we've had player feedback on. Like, yes, the SMG changes have some questionable stuff in there. But SMG changes are being addressed. That is a big talking point. You know, the blue chip recall, big talking point. Clan system being neglected, a big talking point, at least from me. Commoners, Muck, and Northern. It's hard to identify like Northern, like posh Northern people. What do, po do posh Northern people just sound Southern? Like trying to identify like a, a a posh brummy, or you know, a posh scouser. Very challenging. Exactly. Yeah, rogue. He sounds. You know, you're like you don't sound as northern as you maybe should. I want to be posh so I have a different accent. <laughs> the Cheshire Jet Set. The Cheshire. Update online already. It's online for PC today. For console, we get it next Thursday. So there is confirmation that we're just going to have a week between updates, which is technically what we already had. But it kind of always felt like two weeks because we had test server for PC, but no test server for console. So PC kind of got all of the stuff on the test server. And then a week later, they got the update. And then a week later, we got the update. But it, the update, but it kind of felt like two weeks, right? So at least now it's kind of just feels like a week. It was interesting. They tweeted out that there'd been a bug when they'd done the PC update. They'd actually affected something on console to do with like utility belts being removed early or I don't know, something like that. And for some players or removing some utility belt skins or something. So it was interesting seeing that there are, you know, they, they do kind of affect each other. It would be great to see the... That'd be a really lovely change. To see the updates go out on the same day would be would be mega. Ben's posh, your shops and waitrose. Don't let the talk of the Morrisons delivery for you. I just try, I'm trying to sound more relatable by tricking you into thinking I shop at Morrisons. Because to me that's that's the most common shop. Uh surely there's nothing. Yeah, that's that's where the commoners go. Nothing Ben specific like the Ark I can't jump bug. No, it wasn't addressed. If you're not smiling, it wasn't addressed. Bastards. Nestico, thank you for the 40 go, months. Beard, mate. Guys, let's go, beard, guys, let's go. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate that. How you doing today? That's what the cap is all about. It keeps whippets and pigeons. I'd love a whippet. I really like skinny dogs. Whippet would be great. Lovely dogs. Whole Foods is posh in American. 
What would be in your... I don't really know American shops. Is Whole Foods considered a bit of like the, the posh place? I went in a Whole Foods when we were in... Um, uh, Berkeley. Is it Berkeley where Gilman Street is? The, the venue, like in the Bay Area? Is that Berkeley? I think so. When we went there for a few years ago. A few years ago, yes. Thanks. Um, yeah, we went in a Whole Foods before the show to like get some snacks or something. It was it was great. You know, I was popping in as a tourist. Oh, there's good God. To buy some snacks rather than, um, you know, doing my weekly shop there. Ben so posh he gets other people to Photoshop his family photos. <laughs> Kind of the most interested I think I've ever been in the royal family. All this like stupid weirdness. Not something I normally give a single crap about. Oh, look at that. Hello. I bet we get the zone. Oh, okay, no, that's all right, actually. I was going to say, I bet the zone's like on us for a change. Normally when you drop here, the zone is absolutely miles away. And you have to drive so, so far. But that's pretty good. Oh, what's the UK equivalent? Um, what are the posh supermarkets in the UK? Waitrose, Marks and Spencer, which is kind of like a shop that has supermarket and like sells clothes and shit and other stuff as well. It's like a department store, but also has like a food bit. Those two are very, very expensive. You know, like they sell nice shit, but it's, it's very expensive. And then there's lots of, like, middle-of-the-road stuff. Like, I think you'd probably say, what, like, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Tesco are probably kind of fairly equatable-ish. And then there's, like, Asda, Audi. I don't know if you wanted the full list, but you get it. Um, should we take a... Let's do this. I'm trying to think ahead for, like, bridgy, bridginess. Harrods is super posh, yeah, but Harrods is like, there's this only a single Harrods, right? It is a posh shop, I'll give you that. Happy shopper. <laughs> it's quite niche. Oh, should we take the dragon off actually? I don't know. We'll go. We'll go canine because then we would have to. Would we'll have to carry more ammo if I want to take the dragon off on me. If you're not getting lunch at Greg's every day, you're posh. It's not been as much here as I would have liked. Any idea of what Gargod stands for? Uh, I don't know what the uh, the backstory behind that is. He had, isn't there like a song that he plays on his stream sometimes that has like that in as a lyric or something? And it's maybe from a song? I'm not sure really. I mean, he's a good, what, 10 years younger than me, so it's going to be a reference that's deeply lost on me, isn't it? Greg's custard donut is god tier. I like the uh, just the iced ring donuts are very nice, and their yum yums also very good. You know, um, parachute to the bridge. He's still busy chinning people. Look, keep a look out a little bit in case anyone rocks up.
He's killed quite a lot of people with that vector already, isn't he? Glad it's getting buffed. I mean, why not? You never know. Let's just carry everything we can. Ben Soposhi thinks that going to a late night spa shop is getting an emergency facial. <laughs> Nice. The song in his stream sounds like El Chapo by the game in Skrillex. It does have a line where it says, sounds like God, God. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. I don't know if that's where his name's from or if it's just something they found afterwards that sounds a bit like it. You'll have to ask him. I don't, I don't know. Heard of Waitrose the other day. Would the owner of the green Aston Martin please report to customer service? It's about they had to specify what Aston Martin it was. Is buffed the same as nerfed? No, buffed is like made stronger and nerfed is made weaker. He just likes Lady Gaga. Is that is that a fact? Gar for his first name Gary and God for his middle name Godfrey. <laughs> Godfrey would be a great middle name. I hope that is his middle name. Oh, look, there's someone here with a, a pink car. You try and land on the bridge above them. He's going to hear my shoot, this guy, I think. Oh, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. I'm gonna... Okay. How alert is Mr. Pinky car. I don't normally go up here. So I'm probably going to be shit. Oh, there he is. Look. I don't think he would have heard me, actually. I was a little way away. Patience. Hey, buddy. I don't think I want to stay up here, to be honest. Is this going to kill me? Ooh. I don't want to be down here so I can shoot at things. Like this guy. Say that M4 in a minute. What is going on? Get out. <laughs> I think the bike guy got out. And that guy, I don't really know. I need to grab this guy's M4 before this bite guy comes and shoots me. I think he's going to pop up there, you'd expect, right? So we need to bail out. I got some nice tags on the bite guy, but yeah, he got, got away with it, didn't he? Pretty sure he... Yeah, his bike's there, so... We need to get rid of him, really, don't we? Gonna frag me from... I think from exactly where we thought he would... Gonna booze on me. Just gonna be on the gantry on the other side. Ah, oh, let me go under here. The guy is that him? Was the bike guy in yellow? I kind of think like he was.
I mean, I remember. I'm, I'm pretty certain he was. So close! Alright, back to the bridge. I don't know if that was the bike guy or not. I'm just gonna assume it probably was. We'll see if we get on. Oh. He was low. <laughs> oh, we just lasered him in the face. Not quite certain. That's Gar, I think. Ruining your... Bridge camp. Did I kill you, Parco? Sorry, mate. Definitely looked like guard, didn't it? At a glance. Oh, hello, sir. Look, we can... Oh, we just shot someone. We can share the bridge. It's fine. Oh, there's no way I'll win that bolty fight with Gar. It's not happening. Oh, he's over here now. Hello. Where'd my pan go? <laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> Can I get in this? Get down the end. Oh, hello. That's there, isn't it? It's fine. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, you're on the mountain. Oh. Don't mind me, sir. Continue driving. Got this guy nicely, didn't we? Happy with that. Just a bit, a bit squeaky bum time. Someone up there somewhere. Excuse me. I see a guy down here. Felt like I did. I don't really want to stop and spray anyone here, but oh, hello. And on a bike. Oh, that was it. Got the job done. It's been nervy, like spray anyone, because you, when you know there's a guy on the mountain that's been trying to snipe. Well, that is Gar getting killed over there by this lad. He's in here somewhere. Just sort of feeding this guy kills at the moment. <laughs> there you go, mate. Enjoy. He's gonna have the game of his life. Hmm. 
loitering in the garage somewhere. Still in the zone here at the moment. Oh, there he is. La -da -da -ba -bom. The next zone's not horrendous. Do we don't really have a vehicle, do we? What's this one here? It's right down in the open, isn't it? This guy's got like all the vehicles in the world to choose from. So we'll rotate around a little bit. I think quite a lively little game, isn't it? nice if we could have a little cheeky airdrop just um pop down in front of us get threed up that'd be lovely there's the plane with my airdrop thank you very much i thought we were toast when this guy in the hill caught us a minute ago when we were pulling up in the car but we um managed to get away with that one should, should have got oh my god he's hit two in a row Gotta feel bad about that. Was that someone behind me trying to shoot me there? No, I think it was still this guy. This guy here is going to be an issue. Here, nice shots, this giddy guy. And we don't have another frag. That would have been very nice. There you go. Grab a quick med off this guy, I think. Oh, we had a P90. Oh, you've got a three hat? No, I broke it. Guy? No. Hey Brian, how you doing mate? Good to see ya. Fuck off. Stupid mountain guy. Oh god, we gotta go way around there. Well, it's gonna be this bike, isn't it? Please don't shoot the tire on that bike, sir. All right, we're just getting on this and we're going to go through the blue, I think. Has this lost its high? No, it just felt like it was going very slowly. Hanging in there. Not that many left here. Is it going right up onto the mountain? No, it's going to be kind of next to it. Hey, Neil, how you doing? I didn't spill any coffee on my countertop this morning, so I'm doing much better than yesterday. Alright, we're just going to uh, 
dash in on this bike at the last second here. Hello, mate. Bit slow to kill that guy, but we got him. For a low on ammo, didn't realize that. Ugh. Do we switch to the barrel? I think we're going to need to, aren't we? Still not a ton of ammo, but it's more than the M4. Oh, this is horrible. Hello, sir. Are you looking at me? Not yet. Possibly. Got a guy parachuting down up there. Oh, this guy needs to be dead. I've got this guy in front of me here. We're going kind of towards another guy here is a um, bit of an ish. Where did the other one go? We're all right in that. In the hall. Could well have smoked out the guy that was down there. How's that guy above not shot me? He must have made a move while I was doing this. That guy just got sniped by someone up top. That's the guy at the top. <laughs> I should never have got rid of my pan that I threw it. Well, I say I threw it, guys. Wasn't. Oh, he just dropped. Oh, no! We'd give it a go. We're being shot in the back anyway. So we'd try and drop that guy. See if we could get safe from one side. That's unlucky. That's a crazy little finish on the mountain. I can't remember the last time I was up there. So every single game. We've had three games today. All three of those games where I've died. I've been fighting someone and then been shot in the butt and put onto, <laughs> put onto almost no health. Every game. Just need that little bit of luck today. It's not it's not falling into place. Feel like I've been playing well. Landing some nice sprays. Making some nice moves. You got one schematics. Thanks. I've always wanted one schematics. Literally basically the exact same thing all three games today. Shot in the ass whilst fighting someone else. Solo life. Hey, Ultra Mammal, how you doing? I wonder who streamer-wise has the best win ratio. I mean, you'd have to separate it for, like, game mode, wouldn't you? Because if you, if you play predominantly squads, you're going to have a much higher win rate than if you play predominantly solos or duos even. Particularly squads. You know, if you play squads and you have a good team, you can just win, like, fucking all the games. Whereas solos, there's a lot more a lot more luck involved. You know, you can be playing the game of your life and still just get shot in the butt by someone. It doesn't you don't get third pied quite as much in squads, you know, unless people are pushing because your squad's downed or weak or something. Like it happens, but not not as much. My win rate is massive. I mainly play casuals. <laughs> Are the bots getting updated? Not in this update, but they did say in the dev roadmap that they plan on improving the bots in PUBG, like working on the AI so that they fit into the... Not so that they're going to be like unbelievably tough, but more so that they fit like more naturally into the game.
rather than them being like very obviously bots the second you see them or hear them for a gun. That was a well played game. Thanks, Bro Dean. I appreciate that. Undefeated in four years. It's impressive, Brian. I don't really care how good the bots are. Just the fact that they aren't real people I hate. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'd rather not have them. I mean, there's certain regions and queues that need them. But um, I don't feel like, you know, I'd rather play a game with 90 humans and no bots than a game with 100 players, but 10 of them are bots. Hey, Justin, how you doing? Uh, where SMGs are getting a bit of a buff and a bit of a nerf, kind of weirdly. They announced in the patch notes today that they are nerfing... Hey, Pirate Lou, good to see you there, mate. Sorry, I missed your, uh, your GGs. Um, they are making it so there's an increased drop-off of damage over distance for SMGs, and so the minimum damage per shot at, is reduced as well. Essentially another nerf to um, shooting people at distance with SMGs, which is very positive. But they've also like buffing a few of the other smg stats like reducing recoil on a few of them and increasing the damage on the mp5 the ump and the bison the bison like whatever it's kind of an un underperforming gun that's fine but the ump and the mp5 certainly the mp5 I feel like it's one of the strongest smgs in the game but i guess i don't know did it maybe have a nerf at some stage and they're like rebalancing it again What? Miri. First Miri today? No, we went to Cantera earlier, didn't we? Forgot about that one. Cheeky little Cantera drop. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, sure, why not? El Clasico. Might be lively. I would really like lobbies with more noobs like myself instead of running into sweats all the time. Yeah, it'd be nice if um they were able to make that um make that work for people. It get pretty demoralizing when the, you feel like the lobbies are really unbalanced. But it's difficult with the you know, the size of the player base in the game. It's quite difficult to um you know, to do that and still have fast matchmaking or relatively fast matchmaking oh I've kind of screwed that up Get it. <laughs> Fair play, mate. Love that he went for that. Go check this guy. I think he had a helmet. Boom. He did. Nothing else, but had a helmet. Hey. BBQ wing tray.
Got him. Hmm, this guy was close. Sure, he ended up. Can't see you. Lucky bastard, honestly. The timing on that. Should have thrown the decoy at him, yeah. Well, if we'd had a red dot there, it would have probably been alright, but. Struggled. All that. Quickly, quickly, quickly. He had literally nothing. Okay, interesting. <laughs> sure. I mean, someone got killed with a gun over here a minute ago, though. Kind of weirdly. That crowbar did some damage. It did a lot, didn't it? From a long way away as well. Um, let's just take this because ammo. Keep it simple. Still need a level two hat. You're going to treat yourself. What's more important, good headphones or a good monitor? Um... Do you play sitting at a desk or do you play like, you know, in your in your living room, in your lounge? Because I don't think there's any point in getting a monitor if you're like sitting on a sofa and not close to it. If you're sitting at a desk, then sure. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It kind of depends how bad your current viewing experience and audio experience is really. Oh, there's a vehicle there. I thought someone had taken the vehicle, but oh, spoke too soon. Yay, let's have a fight, because I can't be bothered to walk. Oh, he was not where I was expecting him. And now he's just driving off. Okay, fair enough. I like that org skin. It's nice, isn't it? I 
Anyone got a level two hat? There we go. Um, I go M4 because I'm kind of more of an M4 guy. Um, all right, cool. Oh, there's a fresh one. Well, sure. Well, we can take a bicycle, can't we? We don't have to go very far. Find some lads. Ooh. Jesus. Had some shots down here a minute ago. Just gonna have a little investigate. Maybe this vehicle down here. Maybe this burning vehicle here. Oh, it's Burdum. Wow. How does he get away with that? I don't know how we didn't take a tire on that. The cheeky horn. Oh, this guy's like literally on this ridge in front of me. Oh yeah. We live to bike again another day. We kind of need to go the other way rather than taking this long route, don't we? We'll go this way. And hopefully he doesn't shoot me when I cross the road. Thank you, bicycle. Feel the deep burn! Oh, oh I can't use my quick boost hotkeys when I'm cycling because it... Uh, Makes me jump. No. Nah. This feels somewhat risky. <laughs> Mirror signal maneuver. It might have been a panic haunt. Yeah, I think a lot of the time when you hear people horn like that, haunt. Honk the horn like that. It's a bit of a a panic honk rather than a uh, a honk of aggression or uh, fuck you. Shall we take a motor vehicle? As much as I'm enjoying my bike, look, ma, no hands. We managed to extract ourselves from a fairly sticky situation there, I would say. I love that he just walked into that. It's fucking hilarious. Oh my god! What are you, are you just trying to make it awkward for me to pick shit up here? It's like the wildest loadout I've seen in my life. I mean, his guns were sensible, but <laughs> the amount of meds. <laughs> That man is expecting trouble. Can we get this? East. We've got to give it a go, haven't we? Loot delivery! Yeah, that was pretty handy for for quite a lot of lot of bits there. 
We've got to try this, haven't we? I didn't pick up my meds. Oh, did I? The meds I dropped for the bicycle? Yeah, you're right. That's, I wonder why I didn't have many. <laughs> got too excited. Oh, this is... This is open, isn't it? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Not quite. Fuck it. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, I don't have any ammo for that. We've got to leave it. I'll take the, the vest. It's nice. And the helmet. If that was... If there was somewhere that wasn't so vulnerable, I probably would have taken it. But yeah, see. We didn't want to be caught there any longer than we had to. Hmm. This going to be a dip we can kind of sit in here maybe it's a little overlooked from that direction but could work at the moment looking through PUBG look up my last couple of games there were 60% bot games um, if you have crossplay turned off, you'll get loads more bots. You need crossplay turned on. Crossplay is just between Xbox and PlayStation. It's not like PC and console or anything. Yeah, if you have crossplay turned off, you'll get lots of bot lobbies. Be able to make your own dip soon. Yeah, whip out my pickaxe. Dig a nice little hole. That's right, I didn't want, didn't want to kill him anyway. Well, you, you've got to be on that... Oh, he's on the roof, this guy, I guess. Yeah. I assume. Why couldn't you be one us? Gas station is proving a very popular destination, isn't it? Yeehaw. He's having a great time. I'll take this before it gets detired. bike I think he'd just been tagged by someone else he went down very easy Where's this guy? He saw me. Do a bit of ammo, couldn't we? But this guy? Not sure if it was or not, to be honest. He's goes back to me now.
strange chap. Can't quite make your mind up, can you, mate? Probably have made your mind up. A fellow bike friend. Just want to bring this so we've got a couple of options in case we need a vehicle. Annoying. Missed a load of easy shots. Wow, smoke way out in the blue there. Um well, not doing very well at that. Uh, okay, we'll go this way. See what awaits us. See if anyone gets pushed out of here. A lot of people driving. Be surprised if anyone decided to rotate up around there, but strange things have happened. Oh, there's a man. I'll put him on the back foot. Should have headed in with the first shot, really. Just got a bit lazy. Lazy shooting. Could have a guy pop up here potentially. This compound isn't getting pushed all the way out. I mean, and they can just go onto that ridge, I guess. So. It's kind of rough. I don't really. Going down towards this compound. Just a bit wary of like if someone's around this corner on my right is the the big risk. There was that guy we were shooting earlier, but he could have rotated around. I mean, there's not much there, but you'd feel like if that guy was there, he would have popped up to shoot me already because he seemed like a you know reasonable shot. He was shooting better than me. Quite happy with this sort of high ground edge of the zone, but I just need to uh we need to deal with like anyone over here really. That ridge is the main threat. So if we can poach any sneaky kills, that guy just got killed down there. Oh hello, you going for the cart? He is. Okay. Mr. Morado's off. Mine. No one shot at that guy as he drove around, did they? Which is interesting. So either very passive over there or no one over there.
I'm just gonna wait and see if anyone gets pushed in here and then we'll go and try and shoot down on these lot. Hopefully there'll be a sneaky angle. It's nice to know your butt is um, safe, isn't it? I'd say it's looking pretty safe. No, not really on. This guy's been shooting. It almost sounds like he's in this little building on the left rather than the main building, but I'm not 100%. He'd already been tagged and then I tagged him twice there as well. Mother trucker. Lucky boy. He's dead. I reckon he isn't. I mean, the car's in there. There's only two left. There's one guy over there and then whoever this guy that's been shooting is. So he's either in the he's in one of these two buildings. And then there's a guy over there. We are well in the zone here, which is quite kind of nice. We'll just be patient, I think. Wait till we get some more intel. There's that guy running up on my right there, on the side of the house. I got loads of bullets. Dooby doop doo doo. Oh, he's over there. Is that the guy I just from an ago? I think it is. I think he's rotated all the way around. Hmm. It's the other guy I want to show himself. I want to figure out if he's in the main building or this building with the car. So I can go up around the top here and shoot down at this guy, but I don't want the other guy to get me in a bad spot. I think I need to kind of go around and make this play. Oh, that's a bad spray. Oh, well, there's the other guy. Eat me! Sauté the barbecue. Shh. Eat me! You want some head for now or boo? Thanks, short bus. Oh, wrong side of the crate. Might be dead here. Yeah. GG's, great stun. Oh, just that frag, it just rolled in. It's like playing a golf game when you're on a little hill and the ball just goes whoop. Should have won that. We whiffed that with that shot when it was on the side of the, uh, the uh, garage. Should have had him all day. Yeah, good stuns from that guy. Just that, we whiffed the shots on him and then we uh, fucked the frag up, hit the crate. Fun game though. 1100, nearly 1200 damage. Uh, short bus, thanks so much for the gifty to Buck Bok Pyrilu. Thank you for the gifty to RoboCheck. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate that. Don't quit your day job to play professional bocce ball. I don't know what that is, but I get the intent. Stuck for 30 days now. <laughs> that's my issue with the M4. I miss sprays like that. I mean, that's not, you know, there wasn't M4 issues. It's just a bad spray. It's Italian bowling. Interesting. I've not heard of that. 
Kind of like Patonk. Pronounced Bocci. Bocci ball. Bocci ball, eh? Boy, it's getting very warm in here today. Jeez. Bibby. Similar to Pocket Pool, not heard of that either. Bocce ball. With a hand scoop thing. I'll Google it. Bocce ball. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just batonk or bowls. But Italian. You throw a small ball, you throw big balls near it. Fun little game. I vote for a Patreon members only bocce ball tournament. <laughs> that does remind, that's a good segue actually. Well reminded. Um, so I made a post on the Patreon page today. Um, asking for votes on a poll and feedback on... I'm kind of contemplating the idea of coming up with some patreon only video content so whether that's occasionally a patreon only stream or patreon only video that kind of thing so add a bit more value to you know our patreon supporters for this sort of five dollar tier and up um or doing a stream where you know i play something that the patreon people vote on what game to play um, and maybe do that as a, you know, Patreon only for viewing it and just for a bit of fun. So if you want to add some feedback on that, uh, there is a, there is a, there is a Patreon post. You can do that if you're a Patreon supporter at any tier, I'll put a link in chat as well. So you can just go straight to that. Um, but yeah, go have a look at that. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet, but, um, I'm just starting to kind of brainstorm ideas and come up with stuff for that at the moment. Hint, botchable. Because then, you know, if I put up a poll, I like maybe for, you know, occasionally like a stream for patrons only, where, you know, outside of the normal schedule, we put up a poll with four or five different options of games on it, and people can vote on that, and, um, you know, I'll just, I'll just play whatever, whatever the hell you guys, you know, like. See how it goes. Hey, Einstein, how you doing? Great to see you, mate. Hot tub votes Pixel. Noted. Any more weird wall holes to give us tours of? 
Um, no, I don't think so. Sadly. Put my little fan on. Feels very nice now. Looks like the premium streamer experience. Hello, mate. What do you think your chances are? Poor, I would say. That's literally on the roof. down I guess what have you done with all the older PUBG partner merch is the Sanok banner still on the wall <clears throat> uh, it's not still on the wall it's folded up in a drawer somewhere um, some of it I just got rid of, like, last year before, well, year before last, I guess, before we moved house. I, um, I took a load of, like, clothing to charity shops, because I just had, you know, like, five years worth of it, I guess, or more. Um, there was a lot of stuff that I was never, ever going to use. So a lot of it ended up at a charity shop, and then I kept a few of the nicer bits. Uh, the Sanok towel that used to be that sort of banner in the background of the stream. Oh. I do still have that. I just haven't really used it for a bit. But... Oh my god, these railings, honestly. You just have to spray and, and pray. Literally spray and pray. Uh, but I've still got a bunch of the cool stuff like the, the skate deck, the uh, Destin skate deck I've got just down here, which is going to go up on the wall very soon. I'm looking forward to getting that up. Oh, didn't think I'd jump all the way down. I thought there was a lip. Oh, I thought there was a balcony I was jumping onto. I didn't realize I was just vaulting out, but I got lucky with um, his decision to vault in there, really. Uh, I've got like the, that metal disc plate. Was that fifth anniversary or sixth anniversary? That's just down here. That's going up on the wall soon. So I just redecorated this room. So there's a bit of space to um, put things up now. That was the guy who just double flashed you. Oh, was it? Heribut? Oh. Oh. Oh, the guy at the top? This guy. Oh, GG's. There you go. I mean, I'd rather kill you when we're 1v1 at the end, but I'll take that. Could have done a PUBG Live merch auction. Uh, it's just, it's a posting thing. Everything, posting things to America is a pain in the ass, and it costs a ton of money, and unfortunately, that's what it would all entail. So, um, come check out the local charity shops. Decorated looks shite. Well, don't you like it? Don't you like what I've done with the room? How dare you? Should have done an EU giveaway. Oh, loads of it was just tat, though. It's just tat. <laughs> I've got, I've got still got some of the nice stuff. I'll swing by and collect anything. <laughs> I'll let you know if I've got anything I want to get get rid of. Um, it's not tat. It's very nice things that PUBG sent me. Thank you so much. Oh, dragon off. Just want to say I missed the Friday morning community customs. Maybe consider bringing them back. Well, I, the reason I stopped doing them was because people stopped joining for them. You know, they weren't. We weren't getting many players for them. They were. They were very, very quiet. So it made more sense to change to do Patreon squads, which is 
which has been really busy and popular um because we just weren't getting enough numbers anymore to do customs they were loads of fun you know for a good long time but i think just the the age of the game and the you know the popularity of things it just kind of got to a situation where uh it wasn't viable anymore to do them regularly friday patrons yeah i think the you know patreon stuff works well now uh are we in the zone no we're not we need to get some meds we haven't we have no meds there's meds and a fresh vest there's fresh vest are you still giving away a gaming PC? I remember you mentioning that. <laughs> I'm not giving away a gaming PC. Hey, friend. Oh, we got some nice hits, but dragon off. I miss World of Tanks. I can tell by all your comments you leave on the channel. I never know what on earth you're talking about because you're referencing videos that are like eight years old and i'm not going to rewatch them but um you seem to be enjoying them oh good bit of early damage there at least we've kind of moved on from getting third party to just losing our ones now i don't don't mind that so much boom 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 Sounds kind of like my play style, to be fair. Hello, I see you. How you doing? Good to see you. Hi. Just helping the algorithm. Thank you. Thank you. I'm um I'm gonna stream a new game tomorrow. By the way, um, which is called Outcast: A New Beginning, uh, which isn't out till Friday, but I'm allowed to stream it tomorrow from. Uh, 2 p.m. So I'm going to play it tomorrow. I haven't mentioned that yet. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream it on Twitch as well. I might just do it on YouTube. It's going to be more of a YouTube focused thing, I think. But I'll see. I might decide to just dual stream it anyway. I guess it won't hurt. Uh, but yeah, it's a um, like a kind of open world action RPG kind of game, I think it's described as. It looks kind of fun. I had a little play of the tutorial earlier. I was kind of digging it. So we'll, we'll put a few hours of that down tomorrow. For a bit of funsies. Anyone else's drops frozen? The seven year spray stuck at 83% for two hours. I think the spray... Had it, it told me what how long they take somewhere. Where was it? On the... Um, three hours of watching for the seventh anniversary nameplate. 30 minutes to get a hunter's chest, an hour to get the chest key, two hours to get I'm okay spray, and three hours to get seventh anniversary nameplate. Those are the Twitch drops available today and for the next week or so, I believe. THQ Nordic. Yes, that is it. THQ Nordic. I need to. I keep accidentally think saying Outlast instead of Outcast, which is a very different game. Have you given any thought to playing Grey Zone Warfare? I have no idea what that is, Jimbo. Is it on Xbox? I had a good look through what was up and coming on Xbox um, or cross-platform over the next sort of year the other day. So I made a bit of a list of things to try out. I don't remember that being one of them. But yeah, I want to do some more of, uh, you know, doing live streams on YouTube of stuff on, you know, when it goes live on Xbox. Showing the Xbox version of the game is, has proved to be quite quite successful on the channel in the past. You know, like the, the Ark Survival stream I did for that got massive views. The Fall Guy stream I did for that on YouTube got massive views. So, um, you know, it seems like a, a sensible thing to do, really. Because YouTube actually has like an algorithm, you know, that helps push interesting content that people want to watch. Oop. 
ever thought of doing a sh a short of a day in the life of a streamer? Not really. I mean, I'm not really much of like a vlogger or a filmmaker. I'm a, you know, so I, I think it'd just be shit. <laughs> a plate up stream. I did a brief one with, um, with Nacho at one point. Plate up is really fun. I would like to do a proper, maybe that can go in the Patreon stream bin because it's something that I would like to stream for a while, but I know there'd be about 10 people watching. But if I do that as a private Patreon stream, then I won't feel, you know, like a massive failure when I'm doing that. Um, so that could be a good option because I really like to. I've only played a tiny bit of Plate Up and I'd love to kind of get to know it a bit more and like, you know, go, get a bit sweaty in Plate Up with two or three people. I've only got a tiny way in. Don't worry about that. Because there's a lot, it's quite a, you know, it's quite a deep game. But I've just, we've just kind of been like, we make the pizza, we pass them the pizza, we wash the plates and, you know. So, uh, hopefully we can get a bit more pro than that, would be nice. Where are you, sir? Come there. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, that's the guy that killed someone a minute ago, not the guy we just heard break a window, though. Window would have been one of these two. He's on my right. Jeez. Plate up is good on with four people. Yeah, I've not played it with four. That sounds intense. Sounds like there'd be a lot going on. I just have that vehicle pulled up around the back. I just want to see if we've got another vehicle to hand in case we want to make a quick getaway for crates or something. Not really. Let's go and pinch this vehicle at the back, perhaps. See the guy down there? No. If I had any problems with my Elite controller, um, not especially. I mean, it drifts a bit now, which has kind of been the case of like, any controller that I've had after a while. So a uh, bit of stick drift, but I tend to only really notice that when I'm sitting there with my controller, you know, not touching it in the menus, in the pregame lobby. If you're not smiling, balls you to know, it's you. It's not something I really notice affecting my gameplay. You know, when I'm running around like this, I wouldn't have any idea. It's only if I just, you know, stop that you might see a bit of drift. So many Atexes. I kind of want a six, though. Uh, Biggs, thanks so much for the 47 months. Cheers, buddy. Got your Elite 2 this morning. Really like the feel. Yeah, I've been happy with mine. You know, I've had this for a year and a bit now. And it's hanging in there. I feel like I could probably do with learning how to take them apart and or just give them a bit of a clean at some stage. I've never really done that. Apparently something can be quite helpful. Trigger stops feel great. 
yeah, I do like using those. Does Fall Guys still exist? Uh, yeah, I don't know how the matchmaking stuff is. I've not played it for a long time. Hey, Savage, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're enjoying the YouTube stream, don't forget to click the like button. It does help us out. The more people that click that lovely little like button, the more YouTube throws our stream out into the algorithm and, uh, and brings in new people to watch. So it's a great way to help the channel for free. You know, if you want to support, do appreciate that. Thank you very much. And if you're not enjoying the stream, then I, yeah, I don't know why you're watching, to be honest. You must just be glutton for punishment. The Elite 3 was apparently getting revealed in June. Wonder if I should wait. Yeah, hard to say, really. Wait and see what ends up coming of that. How's the update feeling? It's not live on console yet. It's live on PC today. We actually get the update on console next Thursday. Jesus. Hey, Little Red Rider Ho. How you doing? Screw the algorithm. Well, that's a, a chopper, not a not a plane. over there it's this little bit bridge here could get kind of lively but someone already parked to the end of it possibly it does look a bit fishy doesn't it might just be a spawn to be honest yeah I think it is I'll hide my car, my taxi behind it. Let's see if this guy has like a 6x or a comp or something useful. Lots of meds, lots of boosts. <laughs> I mean, hats off. To oh, thank you, little mate. Hats off to him for trying it. I think it was, it was doomed for, to fail, but... Gotta give it a go. <laughs> Ramming speed. I mean, if you're in a car, then yes, that can sometimes be effective. If you're in a... On a bike, then less so. I just want to get that out of the way so it's not immediately obvious for people coming over this bridge. We will bring this in and tuck it behind these boxes for a bit of rear cover and a quick escape. Couldn't message on YouTube. Wanted to ask, how popular is Tiptoe in EU? I I don't know what you mean. What's you mean the art the the skill of tiptoeing and moving quietly? You driving up there because it's not ideal. TikTok in EU, in the EU region, how popular is TikTok? 
are very popular, I guess, would probably be my answer based on, you know, very little. Don't really know much about the EU other than the UK, so I can't really comment on that. I hate these fucking rocks, honestly. Get much luck today, are we? Keeps happening. You've come. It's lucky you've asked the EU TikTok authority. Ben of the beard guys. I didn't mind the frag. We would have been fine with the frags. He didn't know where the hell we are. We had a good advantage there, I think, on that tree because of the stuns. But yeah. So fight again. I think it's fair to say TikTok is quite popular. Oh, had I not read it out? Oops. US is about to ban it. TikTok has been shown to play fast and loose with your data. Well, it's all right because I'm not on TikTok because I'm, you know, not under the age of 15. Didn't you guys leave the EU? We did. I don't want to talk about it. It was a messy breakup. 21. I mean, in fairness, 21 is still a child, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Exciting bit of news. Kind of related to ages. I got ID'd the other day. Got ID'd in Tesco, buying some beers. Hadn't been ID'd for years. Oh, very exciting. After she gave it back, I sort of laughed. And she was like, did that say 85? I was like, yeah. <laughs> the girl who ID'd me was probably about 17. Well, she, I guess if she's ID'd, she must have been 18. But she looked very young. Tesco Express, exactly, yeah. They don't ID you much in the in England. In, and I know in America, they'll like, you, you wheel in your nan who's like 97 years old and like got her, you know, her drip thing on a trolley next to her, going into her veins. And they'll still be like, chuck her out because she hasn't got ID. But in the, in the UK, they don't really give as much of a shit. The fake tattoo sleeves, yeah. <laughs> Clearly my beard, I've got my beard too short. 
I think I'm a sprightly 17 year old boy. Bearing in mind the drinking age in the UK is 18. I'm too old to worry about it. As a matter of fact, I follow you in my typewriter. <laughs> When I left one of my old jobs back when I used to work in software, uh, when I had one sleeve, I didn't have both at that time, but they, uh, my colleagues like bought a load of fake tattoo sleeves and then on my last day, I'll put them on. So they were all, they got like, we got a group photo of me and like about 15 other devs all with all with these like fake tattoo sleeves on it. It was very sweet. That was a long time ago. I got ID the other day and I'm 39. It made me feel young. Snap, yeah, I'm just happy with that. I made a reference to Pogs today. A girl at the table replied, I'm under 30, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> See, I still think when people say Pog in like an internet way, you know, like Twitch, I don't know, fucking Twitch lingo or whatever, and people are like, Pog, Poggers. Which you can't say when you're my age because it's fucking embarrassing. But like when people say that, I still immediately think of Pogs, the, uh, you know, the game from when we were a kid. Which were like these kind of, what, like plasticky coin things that you kind of, I don't know, stacked and hit hit other Pogs with and shit like that. They were cool. Yeah, I remember them at school. They were, they were yeah, brief window tats, wasn't it? Brief window. Maybe there's a secret fan wanting to confirm it was Beard Guys Ben. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, I was going to ask: Has um, has anyone ever been to any of the in the UK? Ever been to any of the on Insomnia gaming events, gaming festivals? I've never been to one, and I would like to try and. There's one like very soon, which I won't be going to, but I think there's one they do a couple of year, I think, and I would like to try to go to one of them at some point. Um, because I haven't been to an event for absolutely years, and it'd be good to go and do a bit of networking and rub shoulders with you know companies and such i went to a couple way back with defo fun nice i was there with wargaming back when i was a cc they didn't fucking invite me did they <laughs> hey tank how you doing mate oh there's someone here Ah, should have done better there. Oh my god, I loved Pogs. It was, yeah, just a brief time. It was like, when you're at school every year, there was just like a thing that was a fad for like a few weeks, wasn't there? Like, Pogs was a thing for a bit. Yo-yos got really popular at one point. Like, Tamagotchis. Excuse me. Format Manchester was a washout gaming wise, but 30 the EU PUBG community met up. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Both about a lot of you guys and girls all um all meeting up and uh and it being not not that great. Not the meetup, but the actual, you know, the event. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even see the, um, see the, the rant. I was talking about leaving the EU, actually. I was handpicked in primary to help the yo-yo master. <laughs> I had an OJ Simpson slammer which had the car chase on it. Really? No. 
plausible. I think what's interesting is these 90s fads happened in the UK and US simultaneously. Oh, wow, it's Karakin. I didn't think this was even in rotation anymore. Come on, Ben, you mean rub shoulders with us common people? I, if I go to an event, I'll let you know I'm going. And if anyone wants to go and say hello, that'd be amazing. But, um, yeah, um, it's mostly, they're mostly just a good way to go and chat to people from companies and then they have to talk to you because you're just in their face <laughs> rather than just emailing them and hoping they email back hey killer ray how you doing any wins no we had a second place earlier um and then just been quite unlucky with third parties really but i think we've been playing pretty pretty well the tamma got cheese us the finest cheese used to love that <laughs> I'm going to my friend's uh, 40th birthday party this weekend and um, where he's got like a big house hired out somewhere. And that's 90s film and TV themed. So I've got a, um, a, a nun's outfit and some nice little round sunglasses and doing, um, doing Sister Act. It looks good. I tried it on yesterday. So maybe we can have a maybe we can have a nun a nun stream sometime. Is that appropriate? It's fine, isn't it? Facebook reminded me yesterday that I learned how to solve a Rubik's cube seven years ago. But those hadn't really been popular since 1984. I've never done one. I'll be having none of that. Dresses as off as a lady beard. I don't know if that's really 90s film and TV. I'm not sure they'll get the reference. I like to think that none of my real life acquaintances watch the channel in any capacity. Um, sorry, Biggs, did I acknowledge your sub? I'm not sure if I did, but apologies if I didn't, Mr. Biggs. Thank you for the 47 months. I always find it very... Um, it's, I feel very exposed when suddenly someone from... Um, Real life pops up in chat and says hello. It's like the, the third wall. The fourth wall? The fifth wall? Which is the wall? When you're one of the walls comes down. That's the OJ. This is it. Oh my god, that's a real thing. Jesus. The OJ Simpson pog slammer. Hey, Satoris, how you doing? Oh, we gambling, boys. We gambling. To the booby. <laughs> Because that shit's getting blown up. Ah, oh, the UMP. Can't wait for it to be buffed. So weak now. The fourth wall. Yeah. That one. MP5, also a gun badly in need of buffing. Can't wait for that. Got no vest, annoyingly. Should have won that. Well, I'm fucked now. Hello. Let me get this. Uh oh. Jeez. Uh. Squeaky bum time.
Uzi getting some recall buffage. It seems mad, doesn't it? Like, I know they're making some other good nerfs to the gut to the SMGs, but has anyone ever used a an, an Uzi and been like, man, this gun is this gun is wild. <laughs> like, how can I possibly control this gun? It just seems Yeah, odd, doesn't it? If only this gun had easier recall. How's the running going? Found you on Strava the other day. Hope that doesn't break the fourth wall. No, not at all. You're all people are very welcome to add me on Strava if you want to, if you're interested in following my running. You're into that, you know? Go for it. Um, well, should we? Uh, actually, let's let's do this. Uh, but then we'll we'll be like that, right? Kind of makes sense. Or like follow whatever it is on Strava, not not add, is it? Um, right. I do like it when these buildings get blown up because you can just hoover up the loot. We do need ammo, don't we? We don't have a huge amount. I guess we got enough. We got a vest and that now, right? We don't need meds. That is a bit of an ish. Um, maybe we're going. Go look underground while we wait for the zones. Yeah, they're doing the range thing. They haven't mentioned limb multiply. It'd be great to see that disappear, to be honest. Hello, friend. I reckon this will protect me from from an explosion. Hmm. Seems to take take some some of the impact, didn't it? Bit of science. I was too scared to go right up to it. Do I get recognized a lot out in public now? Uh, no. No, thank, thankfully not. Probably more likely for someone to recognize my voice. All of my big things with a big audience are YouTube videos, which don't tend to have my face on. You know, my high-performing YouTube videos with hundreds of thousands of views are the ones that are, uh, uh, you know, tips and guides and stuff that doesn't have um, my face on. My DualSense, ed DualSense Edge just got an update. Here I come. Hey, Nick. How you doing? A face made for radio. Thanks. Face and a voice for radio. Got a bit more ammo for it now. They do need to just remove... Oh, just... Oh, move the black zone and sticky nade walls to all maps. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd like to see the black zone on other maps. Imagine the whole school just getting fucking leveled. It'd be great. Just need a SMG mag. Oh, and we still haven't picked up any meds. Sure. Did you attend the o the Oscars? Well. I, I'm not really allowed to confirm or deny that, actually. You have to use your imagination. Imagine trying to get the survival master on sticky bombs. Jesus. Even just trying to get 10 kills, I feel, would be, like, incredibly difficult. You have to, like, 
either catch someone out who's, I don't know, AFK, has absolutely no idea what a sticky bomb is, or trap them between just like five or six sticky bombs when they're weak. <laughs> it's very hard to get a kill with them. Turning it down. Timer. No, you don't insult the queen. Yoza! Thanks so much for the super chat. Dropping a fiver, you bloody legend. Love your content, fella. Cold, Cold hard cash. Okay, that one's for you, Yoza. Cheers, mate. Do you get recognised a lot in private? No, they they have no idea. <laughs> I often get thrown out of my friend's houses. Very forgettable face. Panzer Mastery. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more panzering going on. It's going to be fun. I might try and, like, grind something stupid out from that. Like, we'll just take as many frags as we can and see if we can, like, rank our frag mastery up. At the detriment to, like, all other goals. That's probably that Dragonov guy. I need to be careful because he can probably one-tap me. He's a bit of a problem. He did drop down. Where are you going, sir? Come back. He's going in the hole. Sir. Get out of my hole. The plane might help us sneak up on this guy here. Jesus Christ. No headset 100%. He didn't didn't really notice me till I started firing shots vaguely near him, did he? I have neither the face nor voice while I work in the basement of my home. They forced you to work from home. 506 damage, 3 kills. Jesus. Who were we shooting in that that didn't die? Oh, the um Dragonov guy. Well, that was whiff of the day there, wasn't it? It's whiff of the day. Not played a Karakin in so long. Yeah, it doesn't come up very much. It's not in the rotation at all for the... Um, going forward. Like after next week's update, they've got the next month worth of maps. The next four weeks worth of maps. And Karakin isn't in it at all. He did do some good dodging. But I should have done better. I mean, that's the... I'm just not very... I don't use the org very much. And I don't use 3x on an AR very much. So... Uh, it kind of showed there, really, didn't it? Bring back Sanok fixed. I mean, to be in fairness, considering how disliked Sanok seems to be in the EU NA regions, I feel blessed that we had those lovely few couple of months or whatever where Sanok was fixed. Because loads of people hated it, but I absolutely loved it. Sadly, now Sanok is, um, you know, pretty much, pretty much deleted in EU, unfortunately. But you know, so it goes. I need to try and figure out if there's an easy way for me to like VPN my console at some point, because it'd be funny to go and try and play in another region and see what the ping would be like for a stream. But I need to figure out the best way to do that for a console without VPNing like my whole internet. I don't want to stream via another country. So yeah. I'd I just need to figure that out. Because if you're in some of the Asian regions, have map select and you can just pick whatever you want to play. You can play Sanok. Obviously, we'd have a crappy ping, but it'd be kind of funny to try, wouldn't it? It's 
It's the best map for breaking up the big maps. I just, I've just always kind of really enjoyed Sanok. I think you can, you can, there's loads of places you can go where you get looted really quickly. I like the layout of it. You can run around everywhere. You don't need vehicles. You get fights quickly, lots of action. It's not like, you know, it's a bit more compact and action packed without them reducing the player count like they do for the small maps. Like, I don't count Sanok as a small map. The game time on Sanok is pretty much the same as, like, Erangel these days. Since they changed the circles on Erangel and stuff, like, games on Sanok are, like, maybe two to three minutes less than Erangel, probably, on average. I mean, you could easily have a game on Sanok that could even last longer than Erangel game, I would say. I love Sanok 2, always enjoyed going all 9 mil. Yeah, it was great for that stuff. Lots Because it just gives you low, it's almost all close and mid-range engagements and none of the other maps in the game really give you that, do they? As you say, you know, going double 9 mil, Uzi VSS or going like two, you know, SMG and then AR6X. Stuff like that is just, you know, great fun. <clears throat> Map selection, I know. Yeah, some of the the Asia regions have it. Tumili, man, we had a really fun bridge game earlier, where a gar was also on the bridge for a little while. Managed to avoid him shooting me in the head, kind of miraculously. Just, oh, I was going to say, is there no one here? But they're all kind of ahead of me. In we go. Oops. Take the mini. bag any bags oh ton of ammo fucking laser sight the amount of times i see that with my little loot arrow <laughs> there we go let's go bolty gotta be done beautiful Did I finish the guard? No, I didn't kill him. I just avoided being killed by him and someone else killed him, which I'll take. Get rid of that guy. So many laser sights. Get out of here. Not interested. Ooh. Another 6x we do not need. First aid very handy. And we got loads of that. Um, okay, let's just go and grab a bit more of that sevens that was sitting around. And then how's the circle? Oh, it's not quite south. I do. Go do some investigating. That was very close. I'm going to go out that way now. I think that was maybe on that roof or just at the base of the building there. There's a pretty clean spray from that guy. And sneak out here a little bit. That was what I was talking about earlier. It's annoying when you have the loot setting on with the little arrows, isn't it? Because it keeps trolling you by making you think there's something you need to pick up. I feel very vulnerable. Cheeky little panzer kill in the feed. Possibly on a bot, but you know, still, still enjoyable nonetheless. <laughs> I 
I just had a lovely memory of like back in the day when we used to have the old bridges and come to Millie a lot. I remember like we'd go along here and spray down like a third of the health off all the vehicles. So they weren't quite smoking, but they were like a bit damaged, but people might not notice. So then when you went and did your little bridge block and people tried to cross, <laughs> you just blow up their vehicles more easily. Sneaky tactics, that. I mean, that would have been back when vehicles exploded immediately when you uh, blew them up rather than, you know, the, uh, the delayed response vehicles we have these days. Might try and get this airdrop if we see it drop. I mean, we are technically in the zone now, so... Who knows? Could drop now? Could take a while. It could go out to... It's kind of... I mean, there's quite a lot of melee base was actually in the circle, isn't it? Oh, it's really close. Look at that. Okay. Definitely taking that. Dooby doo doo doo. Five seconds is too long, right? I don't know. I've kind of got used to it now, to be honest. I feel like it was a change made more for like esports reasons than casual reasons. Where's this freaking crate? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Nice. I would love to know how many people actually put a laser sight on anything other than a pistol. I'm sniping on the bridge down here. Right down the end. Be a little bit too much on the old uh, sevens there, but why not, I suppose? Yeah, I'll take the vehicle down. I don't really want to be vehicleless, even if this guy hears me. It doesn't really matter too much. Get this sump. I put laser on everything until I find another grip. I mean, it looks nice. And as you say, on an SMG, if you're up close and hip-firing, kind of handy, I guess. But I just don't tend to bother picking them up because I know I'll always end up replacing it. Oh, you're up, you're up there. Unlucky, sir. I was going to push it, but I feel like it would have been just put me in a bad spot. To then tag him again and chip away his armor and meds and then grozer him. I've parked up. Oh, you parked up there. Okay. Other guy might third party him here. Ow. 
How does that not kill him? Really? Jesus, I can't believe that protected him there. Didn't even reach the ground, that metal barrier. That grenade must have been lying about one foot from that guy. He put nice, got nice hits on me initially, and then he was pushing it because he was super confident. I don't blame him. I probably would have been. And then he had a bad time. This other guy was just working down the cliff. If you didn't see him, he was kind of near the edge of that like metal fence there. Oh, he's near the tree now. I thought it was bang on. I was being patient and taking it slow because he seemed to be taking forever to fire. Need to be a bit more cautious. Now we're not on high HP. Where is he? There. Oh, that... See, the first time he was so slow, and then that time he's like fucking popping it out nice and quick. I kind of hate it where they always just body you and fuck your vest up while you're trying to hit them. Sorry, mate. You, well, you bodied me, haven't you? You've got to see it now. I'm not going to be able to get any more first aids off that guy in the street, so... Um, I'm just going to have to do this the slow way. I mean, that was bang on. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh my god, these are fucking shots, honestly. The circle's gone south? Oh my god, that is crazy. I need to kill this guy. He's been a pain in the butt. Oh, they cracked crack the vest. We bodied him, but we're out of meds now. So it's going to get pretty tricky. I might have to try and get on the roof and hope there's some meds up here. Well, at least we got an uncracked vest. He could probably one tap me in the head unless I let get let my health get up a bit higher now. Not these trying to headshot me anyway. Come buddy. I mean that's a hit, surely. Yeah, that was a hit. Need to start just trading some damage if we can't get the headshots. We're a bit fucked now because we have no meds and we're in the blue, which isn't great. Thank you, sir. Do you have any meds? I should have let him get a bit closer. <laughs> he's still on the, I, th I feel like I saw him go right. We do have our vehicle still, but... Does he have a vehicle up there is the question. Yeah, it's a sticky situation, really. I think we've got to just kind of jump this and... Unfortunately, as much as I'd like to finish this fight and kill this guy, I think we need to just drive. We did lose a tire, didn't we? That is going to make it pretty hard for a rapid um, exit. There is a bicycle. <laughs> Where did this other guy go? Did I pick that up? I did. Do I have smokes? No. I wonder where this guy ended up. Looked like he was going to go bridge sides meds. Yeah, that's true. Fuck, he's got no meds. 
He might have gone bridge early, that guy. Honestly, who has no meds? Hey, Ace, how you doing? Alright, this could be sketchy. I feel like he might have made a play to get to the bridge early. Would have been a, a, a smart move. Wasn't quite what I was trying to do. I hope we get to kill this guy. I feel like we need to redeem ourselves with getting the kill on him. Hey, Rexstrom, do drops work for console or just PC? Yeah, they should work for both platforms. Just got to keep running. No idea where this guy ended up. Could be absolutely anywhere. We're getting a lot of boosts. <laughs> there we go. Finally got another... First aid. Very convenient. I'm kind of waiting for him to just like pop up out of nowhere. Okay. Med situation looking quite good. We've got loads of smokes as well, just in case. Lots of boosties. Seems you found all the meds. Yeah, exactly. Let's just get this maxed, take first aid, and then we'll shuffle in and see what we can manage. More smokes. Can't hurt, can it? Wall of smokes to get us into the play zone. Ooh, how far are we going to go? It's not too bad. The next zone is going to be nasty, though. Then we just got to fist out and hope that this guy's not nearby. I mean, surely he's got to be, right? He's not going to have sat there. Sure. Convenient. <clears throat> Can't believe that zone went south from, like, where it started as well. It didn't have much of the South Island in it. It did not look like a south zone. Hello. That's my ghillie suit, mate. Or do we stay up here or go into Millie? Where's the crate going? That's what I'd like to know. Ooh. I want to go up here. I feel like this. That's going to hit the tree. Annoy me. on this ridge now. Hold him out. Assume that as the guy. 
You see down in this crate? It was just down there. No one on it that we can see at the moment. Check this guy for stuns very quickly. Any other interesting throw things and ammo. We're a bit low on ammo, but should be able to manage. Then we've got to move around and just try and third party people as best we can. Streamer loot car. It was very handy, wasn't it? We've got a canine. Honestly. Frag would have done it, but nice to confirm it with the Grozza. Was that his? I think that was his own frag he was dropping, maybe. Pretty sure that was him dropping a frag at his, his feet. Do 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 do. We made the right decision not going into Millie by the look of it. We get pushed across that valley. It's going to be awful though. I want to kind of get involved in these fights a bit, but so we have to cross over to do it, really. We know there's a guy down near this car, or there was, the guy who smoked. He's still there. Get rid of some of those. <laughs> More ammo. Beautiful. He's spraying out there. Oh, just caught him. Wow, he was low. Classic there, missing the easy shots and hitting the hard ones. Right, might have been some people pushed up from Millie. We need to go back and clear out. Although the circle is and the other way, isn't it? We've got to get around on this guy. Maybe make a move while they're busy fighting and just try and wrap around this way. I think it makes a lot of sense. Hope no one's looking down at us. Hey Josh, how you doing mate? Yeah, good. We've had some decent ones. Bit of bad luck, I'd say we're getting third party than that, but we had some had some fun games. We just gotta run. Oh, there's a man. Ah, bit far for the old Groza spray there, unfortunately. Another fun one, though. Crazy circle pushing south after that first zone looked like it was no way going to go down to Millie. Oh, it's going to be quite rough pushing across that valley, unfortunately, onto the other, other side of the hill. Another quite high damage game. 704 damage, 5 kills. We go again.
Hey, Big Red. How you doing, mate? I hope you're keeping well. Fried, welcome back. No dinners yet. Haven't managed to uh, close out that top 10 yet. Grows the decimates when it hits. But I can't control the recourse. I almost never take it. I love the Grozer, but that at that range, I start to struggle with it a little bit. He was kind of in uh, at the at the edge of my my effective range with it, really. Yeah, doing good. Thanks, Red. Doing very well. Love the Grozer. It's a beast. It is a beast, man. We've hardly had any Tago today. That's maybe second Tago of the day. I've had quite a lot of long games, I guess, in fairness. So we haven't had too many different maps. Like, not, we haven't had too many, like, early deaths. They've all been kind of medium length. Need the suppressor. Well, it doesn't have any effect on recoil, but it sounds nice. Unless you're, like, what, hip firing. I think suppressors do for recoil now, don't they? But it doesn't have any effect on controlling recoil for when you ADS. Definitely mentally helps though. Psychologically, I think it helps. It sounds like it's more in control. Ba -ba -ba -boom. Solos is hard now. Everyone using tactics, avoiding fighting. I mean, it just varies, doesn't it? You know, it's this is always the thing with solos is you know you need. You just need a little bit of luck. Yeah, there's 199 other players doing all sorts of different things. And some of those are going to be good. Some of those will be bad. Some of them will be shooting you and then hiding as soon as you look at them. And sitting there completely still for 10 minutes waiting for you to walk around the corner. And some of them will be charging around like crazy. And, you know, you just need the stars to align and get a bit of luck sometimes. You can do play the exact same way one day and get loads and loads of wins and high kill games, and then the next day do exactly the same style of play and you know effectiveness of shooting and and do terribly, just through bad luck. I like that you need the stars aligned and get a little lucky. Well, I think that's a nice thing about PUBG because then it does you know it gives that opportunity to all sorts of different players. It's not a game that you're you know the only the super experienced sweats are going to get all the wins like new players and less skilled players and or whatever you know can still you know can still get a win just through you know things falling into place for them have i ever tried out an aim assist mod does it give a ridiculous advantage it's not an accusation uh no i haven't i think like the thing is in the past like early on in PUBG's days when you know, people were talking about that kind of stuff a lot more, I think. And, like, every stream you did, everyone's, like, accusing you of all sorts. It felt kind of like it would have been interesting from a content perspective to, like, test something like that. But, A, I wouldn't have wanted to promote something like that. You know, if it, all you're doing is giving it a wider audience that's going to make other more people cheat. And then, B, if you've made one video saying, I bought a thing to, like, you know, test out what these cheats are really like, then no one's going to ever give you, like credibility again and gonna think you're cheating forever so i never uh never did it be interesting to know though wouldn't it because the thing is i feel the only the only perspective of what they're really like that you have are gonna be from the cheaters themselves so it's kind of a bit of a bit of a warped opinion i suppose there isn't a warped viewpoint Very good point. I'd love to see that video, though. Well, when I'm all washed up and I have no credibility left to lose, then I'll um, I'll we'll make it as a last uh, <laughs> the last hurrah. <laughs> Anyone up here? There was someone shooting down here. 
Not seen anyone. Oh, hello. Who's holding a gas can? He went inside. Oh, he snuck on. That's someone from behind you, I think, wasn't it? Fucking instant headshot me. I'm pretty sure that guy fired like one bullet at me. Hit me with a heady. It's brutal. The Uzi 9mm. I felt like I got fired at from behind when we run down there, but I mean, maybe it was that guy just firing a random little shot. I'm sure someone else has already made that video. Well, I remember very early on in PUBG, um, that Stone Mountain, when it first came out on console, Stone Mountain did a, you know, very well-respected, um, you know, YouTuber, did a video, who plays PC normally, he did a video, that I don't know if it's still online, playing PUBG on console using um zim like the mouse and keyboard adapter to let you use mouse and keyboard on pubg just because and not i don't think with any real thought given that it would be something that would be considered cheating it was so early in pubg i think it was a brilliant um it was just like he he's a pc player and he doesn't use a controller and it was like oh I'll, you know i'll make i make videos on fps games i'll tr play the console version and just plug in my keyboard because i'm kind of sat here so, I mean, that's also very early on, like PUBG was out for, you know, probably within the first couple of weeks of PUBG being out on console. So that's just a video of him rolling around with mouse and keyboard, just like absolutely annihilating everyone. <laughs> What's my KD this season? I ran into a streamer who has a KD of 13. That's a very good KD. What's my KD this season? Um, I suppose it depends in what mode, doesn't it? TPP solos, 3.9. I think my duos is like five something. Depends what game mode really, doesn't it? 13 in um, solos would be pretty impressive. Although if you're someone like Gar who pumps out like 20 fucking kill games every other game, then probably not too hard to achieve. Still the best to do it. Thanks, Coffee. Appreciate that. Miraculous. I'm out of the I loved it. Guess who's really fucked? It's Brian. <laughs> it's Brian. Guess who's really fucked? It's, it's Brian. Brian. Thirteen in duos. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's plausible. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but you know, if my KD's like five something in duos and playing with nacho and we had like and we've got like a 50 40 or 50 percent win rate ratio and and i was getting fuck all kills in most of those games like because nacho just kills everyone so quick so you know if you're getting a similar amount of wins which is you know it's not unrealistic to win 40 percent of your games i'd say if you're playing in a good duo And then if you're also getting a good amount of kills per game, because all the wins, you know, the, the more games you win, then you don't die and that massively boosts your KD as well. So, you know, I'm not saying I don't know enough about it to say legit or not, but it's definitely, definitely plausible. The pipes of an angel. It still like baffles me how many people are so not. This isn't a comment on what you're saying, Raymond. This is more just something it made me think of from from Reddit. Like, it baffles me how easily some people, like, still assume cheating. Particularly Reddit. Like, Reddit is really bad for it. Because, like, 
and there's this like mentality to us on Reddit. If you suggest, dare to suggest that any, if someone says something's cheating, you dare to suggest that maybe it's not. Then everyone's like, oh yeah, because no one cheats. And like, they're all fucking obsessed with it there. It's crazy on the console Reddit, the PUBG console Reddit. But like, people would still be like, oh yeah, someone, someone killed me with a barrel headshot the other day and I watched Death Cam and he had no recall. And, and they're like, I can't believe these people cheating. And there's it's like still people who A, think that watching Death Cam like means anything and shows anything relevant and b that like getting the idea that they got headshot by a barrel is something that justifies like investigating to see if they cheated <laughs> and then like you know and, and even saying like you know they had no recall like when you watch someone spray an ar under control especially if you're at close range if you're in 1v1 at the end game which presumably they were like like, most people look like they have pretty much no recoil. Any good player spraying an AR. Especially, like, you know, it's not like you're in training room firing a full mag trying to control the spray. You're, like, you're probably spraying, like, a short burst. Like a five-round burst. And if your gun looks like it's moving too much on that, then you've not been practicing enough. Yeah, Death Cam is just... Death Cam isn't a replay of what happened. It's the game sort of trying to show you a rough representation based on like some of the data so you can't take anything the half the time it shows them their aim is like pointing two meters to the side of you and they kill you it's not they're not hacking it's just the death cam shit oh he's got a shotgun oh my god how have I not killed this guy? There you go. He ate some hits, didn't he? Only got 16 bullets in this, which is a little concerning. He's got a panzer as well, which is also a concern. Oh, <laughs> we needed to hit that quick before we went explody times. Please, some ammo. Oh, hello. No. Ah. Oh. Shot in the butt. Have you been killed by a flying car yet, though? Uh, no, I haven't. I, yeah, I've heard. I haven't seen that. I think people have established that there's if some way on, like, old PS4s where they can, like, hack them in some way. And there's some, like, crazy stuff people can do on console using that. But I've, I've seen, like, one or two clips of that, but never, um, never seen it in game. Hey, Color Eyes, how you doing? Notice how Ben is always glancing to his right. That used to, it was funny, like the early days, the first couple of years of streaming PUBG, like there's so much stuff like that. Like everyone was like throwing out accusations because people just couldn't handle the idea that people could get good at this game. <laughs> is this update a big download for console? We don't get it on console until next Thursday. Shot in the butt. And chat's to blame. Yeah, it's a shame we're having a nice little start there. But again, like we said earlier, you know, things have got to fall into place. Uh, so Patreon supporters and uh, aspiring Patreon supporters, I posted a poll on Patreon earlier. If you're interested, go and have a little look in that. Just discussing the idea of doing some sort of Patreon exclusive content, like Patreon only stream, Patreon only video in some way that I do every, you know, once a month or every few weeks. Just as a bit of like Patreon exclusive video content uh, for people to enjoy. 
probably for people in the, like the five dollar tier and above something like that um so um yeah i'm gonna have a little look at that and you know any feedback you have let me know there's a link in the discord in general chat or you can just go log into patreon and have a look So you're not sure I could watch a streamer who didn't recognize 80s lyrics. It's a nice age check. Second Karakin of the day. You and Nacho were the ones that inspired me to get good at this game. Watching either of you guys gives me major motivation. Oh, I love that. I love to hear that. Yeah, it's great fun to play with. I've set it into a nice rhythm now. Like Mondays with Nacho, Wednesdays solos, Fridays Patreon, Bosch. Yeah, nice additions, NA. Absolutely. I've not had a great drop here, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I love the idea that you'll be able to do master, level mastery, like weapon mastery with a freaking frag grenade. Oh, that was a lovely little hop over the ledge there. Mid-roll. He's gone. Not good. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh-oh, he's got a gun. Oh, speaking of nachos, there was one of his clan members. Oh, I just put that down. That's silly. I heard someone in that other building and looked around to the side and there was some other guy. Bump, 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 bump. We go again. Patreon only stream with PUBG challenges that you vote on during the stream. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's the top rated suggestion at the moment on our Patreon poll. Could be a giggle. Because we've got, you know, we've got this plenty of people to come hang out. We've got 80 people on Patreon. I think, you know. Maybe half of those or a bit over half of those are probably on something higher than the one dollar tier. So there's a yeah, there's a fair few people that could come and check stuff out. Bocce ball tournament is tank. <laughs> we'll have to find a game for it. And we could find other interesting, like, you know, little community games if people want to try that, you know, little Patreon stream. Playing whatever, you know, sociable game we could play together. I just want more Patreon squads to distract me from work. Well, the idea would be to, you know, offer something new of, of value to Patreon supporters and also specifically for people who do like the $5 tier or more. Whereas the Patreon squads is accessible to anyone. You only need to do like $1 a month, which is, you know, which is pretty basically nothing. But it's just a nice way to keep it accessible. So anyone wants to play pretty much, they can play. What's one pound twenty? <laughs> it's inflation, mate. It, you know, don't hold me to account for inflation. Remember that at the ballot box. Oh, BRB while this loads in.
Oh, got some friends in the lobby again. I'm a one dollar a month guy. Sorry, I don't spend more. Don't be sorry. It's absolutely fine. That's why it's there. gonna go for a run after stream today but i'm not really sure i can be asked i've been running so much Need all the extra cash to fund your RC addiction, like remote control cars, is that RC? My wife is running right now, she does about 65, 70 miles a week. Oh my god, that's fucking loads. Jesus. I mean, what's that in K? That must be... And what, 50 miles is 80K? So... 100K? Hello, it's a lad there as well. K plus. It's a lot of running. Where did you go? Just half marathon distance every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. <clears throat> Man, that'll keep you fucking fit, won't it? I mean, I did I did 16K with club yesterday, and that felt like uh, enough for a Tuesday. I tend to do my long runs at the weekend. I wouldn't have time to do that much running in the week, so I kind of pack it in with long long runs at the uh, at the weekend. But yeah, great effort there. I mean, I'll be looking to peak it. Over 100k a week for a couple of weeks before I do my ultra, but um, yeah, I couldn't maintain doing that every week. Oh, hello, sir. Found him. Not sure if he's on the roof above me or or in there. You chose poorly. Zones away in it.
always find it quite hard to like figure out how to fit the running in once I get over a certain mileage because you know there's only so many days a week that I sort of want to spend running or can spend running and then when you're trying to and then you end up just doing these like mammoth weekend runs which is good training so what I need to be doing is lots of weekend long runs but yeah I do find it gets quite tough to start to squeeze them in um Shall we just take the the parachute bag? Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Let's try and get a scope first. There we go. We have range, sort of. Be a bit more ammo than we really need. A lot of smokes, not sure we need. Oh, a lot of stuns, actually. Jesus. Um, cool. All right, let's uh let's see we go with this weird loadout. I've never actually seen this map. Your last solo stream, I don't think you queued it. Any good? Um, yeah, I kind of enjoy it. It's uh, it's got like this weird marketplace stuff on it now, which I'm not a fan of. But I can kind of just forget about it and ignore it. But yeah, I mean, I liked the map more before I had that stuff put on it. But I still enjoy playing it. And she's forty-seven. Man, that is great. 40, 47 doing 100k plus. I wish I had the the um, mental strength to uh, make myself do that. The focus. So we're all SMGs buff now. Um, well, it's the SMG rebalance is available in arcade mode in a special test area. It hasn't been rolled out to main games yet to normal games and that's on pc now we get it on console next thursday and that'll be available to test for a period of time and then they may make some adjustments to that which includes you know kind of buffs and nerfs really for the smgs we see increases in damage to some of them to the buys and the ump and the mp5 and reduction in recoil bizarrely but we also see the damage over distance um reduced for uh, all SMGs, which is very, very good thing. So hopefully they'll be less effective at longer range, which is one of the major complaints. Yeah, I, I just kind of ignore it now somewhere and crack on. I mean, occasionally me and Nacho went up here and fought some of the bots the other day because some other people were fighting there and it's kind of fun to just go and like interrupt those fights a little bit. But, um, I might just stay in there and see if we see a plane and try and get an airdrop, I guess. I think I hear one. Maybe? They'd be below, they're below, aren't they? Hmm, I can't see one. thought I heard one, but it's kind of hard to hear over the helicopter in fairness. When's the next Rondo group game? What you mean, like the uh, <laughs> the emergency cover flare thing we did? Oh, that was fantastic. Well, no sign of the um, plane as yet. No more Uzi K9 games for you? I haven't done that for a while, have I? It's been a little minute.
I thought we'd just have a little parachute again and wait and see if we see the um, plane come in. I don't really know the timings of the airdrops for this map. If they're similar to Erangel, then we should be should be due one. Unless one came very early. Like for the second crate, I mean. And you, you, I feel like the zone comes over here a lot. You get like this thing, this river, this inlet of water splitting the zone very often on Rondo. Come on, plane. I want a level, level three hat. Oh man, the EMP looks cool from the air, doesn't it? Never really seen it before. Normally just driving along and suddenly your car just goes out. Hey, buddy. Still no bloody plane. Start looking out for cars we can use. There's one. There's, there's another. Oh, is that a Pico bus? Or is it a bus stop? No, it's at a jaunty angle. It must be a bus. I think there is actually a bus stop next to it, though. I like a Pico bus. It's really hard to identify like, where they're coming from by the audio, so they're quite easy to run people over with. Bro, the YouTube stream looks so much better than Twitch. What the fuck? Well, that's because Twitch caps streamers at a maximum bit rate. Oh, there's the old crate. That's funny. Spotting that. It's like, where's Wally here? Where's Waldo for the uh, American viewers? I mean, I'm sure it's probably been looted, but we might as well have a look. Um, yeah, so Twitch, the maximum bit rate you can stream at is, is 8K. If you're, a, I think, partner or affiliate, maybe 6K for others. Um... But um, on on YouTube, that max bit rate is, I think, 56k, 56,000, but it's 8,000. Uh, so, which is essentially just, oh, hello. Oh, sure. Um, so that's essentially just the quality of which your, um, your stream is. You want to come have a look? Buddy. I don't have much ammo for this. I'm hoping the SM7s for me. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm not streaming at that max bitrate, but I am streaming at a much higher bitrate on... Oh, thank you, sir. On YouTube than I am on Switch. forever to load, didn't it? We still haven't picked with this up. We pick up a bit more? Gonna need it. Oh yeah. The double LMG for the win. Sorry. No dice. Oh mate, calm down. Uh, yeah, so I think the YouTube stream is at, I think, 20k, I think I stream at YouTube on. So, more than double, you know, two and a half times the amount of bits um, of quality being sent to YouTube than I can send to Twitch. I think Twitch were talking about trialing higher bitrate stuff, weren't they? There was some sort of manner of that, so hopefully we might see some improvements to that. like a good safe dip, doesn't it? <laughs> Where I'm meant to park. <laughs> Not sure if this is retrievable. It's really nice being able to do the multi-stream stuff. I've really um, 
you know, really enjoyed it, really found value from it. It's great to be able to give people just that choice, you know, whether people want to watch on Twitch or on YouTube. You know, they now have those options. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at that. Embracing my inner game in Nacho there. <laughs> Lol. I think he was getting shot by someone else at the same time. Ah, oh, mate, I changed it out too early. Oh, bus incoming. He's going in the drink. Oh, baby, baby. Exactly. Hmm. Oh my god, he, they go away, don't they? Please no one shoot me. <laughs> we might as well wait till we have the slightly easier shot. It's a buzzsaw. The city on Rondo is a waste of space. It is another weird one from PUBG, isn't it? It's very much in a in a place where you just never really go. And the... Sure, where this guy is, somewhere over there, obviously. But oh, that's very handy, thank you, sir. Hey, Ace Web, how are you doing? Are we still in the zone, we are just about. I want to lay prone and laser some more people. Oh, he's he's in the drink. Did he get it out? No. That guy's looking at me. He's I think he's busy shooting this guy in the back. Oh, this guy got him. The guy just on the other side of that ridge then, the bike guy. Oh, hi, great. Oh, he's going all the way there. Wow, okay. You're going to loot that guy? Should be a plant. <laughs> Man, I forget how easy this thing is to control when you prone. That is so ridiculous. That's on, like, the rapid fire mode as well. Like, I feel like I'm barely even pushing the stick doing that. It's, like, it's not even hard. It's harder to control, like, you know, a crouched barrel at 50 meters than it is to do that. That is wild. I don't do much about my, uh, my lead and accuracy, though. To watch out for this uh, dragon of guy that was over there shooting at me a while back could be coming into um, play again soon. It was kind of over this direction, so there's lots of little bits of cover for him. Oh, it might be this guy. <laughs> Probably was that guy. He's dead now. Oh, someone else driving over. He's a dead lad now. There was some movement here a second ago. Oh, 
he's behind. I can see him behind it. I'm gonna run out of ammo very swiftly doing this. He's gotta cross this lad. He's gotta cross over. I am. I can, the problem with killing everyone at such a hilariously long range with this is that I haven't picked up any more ammo apart from this one guy. <laughs> We've gradually been stripping bare of ammunition. So we're going to need to loot some. I mean, I've got the uh, the JS9. We've got a lot of ammo and it's pretty, pretty flexible, isn't it? We can always bang the 6X on that. I can't keep firing at you, mate. I've got the bullets for it. Strong and stable. It does have a bipod. Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, still, really, it's pretty strong, isn't it? Especially when you've got, you know, level three helmet. He just wants me to peek so he can try and get me. No, have a swim, mate. It'd be great. Unless he's shooting at someone else near me. You'll love it, I promise. I've seen a few people having a swim. They've had a great old time. Oh, there is a man behind me. That's quite... That's quite nice to know because I need some ammo and I really hope he has sevens. Oh, actually, that's our only boost, so we won't use that yet. Oh, that was pretty close to it. Okay, so there is a guy like there. So maybe he was shooting at that guy. Ooh. Where's this lad? Come around to the left. I think so. I don't want to run out of the zone. I want them to come this way so I can kill them and then loot them, really. They must have gone left. I'm behind. Oh, I hit him again there as well. So unlucky. Oh, we were dominating. I can't believe that guy just came up from behind. I didn't even find my gun for ages as well. I guess he was just rotating that way. Just had one myself and the 9k RPM makes it even more godly. It is brutal, right? Absolutely brutal. Doesn't even seem like the same game as that old video you watched yesterday on YouTube of me, Lamb, and Chewy playing on PC before it even came to console. I mean, it's not. It's, you know, that's seven years of updates we've had since then, right? That's crazy. Yeah, it was unlucky. I just heard him. We got some nice hits on him as well. We hit him again with the MP5 just as we went down, but didn't have him quite low enough, unfortunately. It's kind of been the theme of the day. We've just not really had any any luck go our way in the right situations where we needed it you know with someone getting a getting the jump on us and missing some shots it's kind of all gone gone the wrong side of the wrong side of the post today fun game though that mg3 full prone Uh, how do you coast in cars? Yeah, keep the keep the right trigger held down for ex to accelerate, and then press A to change seats, and then let go of the right trigger. If you let go of it first, then it will put the brakes on as soon as you switch seats. Came over to YouTube just to smash that like button. Thanks so much, Wit. If anyone else wants to click the old like button on YouTube, it does help us out a lot. Gets more people in here. YouTube sends the stream out to more people for all the lovely likes. Skill level and tactics a little different too. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Come on, matchmaking.
another Tago. Lovely jubbly. I'll take that. To the sea. Hey BSX, how you doing? Yeah, games are good, thanks mate. Been killing some people. Feel fairly happy with that. Bum, 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 bum. God, these long countdowns. They kill you, don't they? That's killing me. Come on, your bloody game. God, it's had 100 people for so long. You still have to wait. It's so jarring. The M249 was a great weapon you got in that game. Yeah, it did used to be a great weapon. I mean, that change was made a long time ago now, right? Didn't used to take attack stock. I can't imagine me attempting to control an M249 back when I was, like, new on PUBG. Jesus. I love this place. There's a, you always get loads of fights. There's loads of loot. There's always loads of bikes here. Like I've already seen two bikes on my way down. What's not to love? And he died to the fire. I mean, that kind of sums up our luck today, really, doesn't it? The 200 sightlines that will get you killed. Oh, in uh, Buxan. Oh, it's such a fun place to go, though. When are they going to bring back the extremely large chicken that shoots fireballs? I mean, it's an excellent question. What was that game mode called? 
Wasn't that for one of their anniversaries or something previously? Or was it an April Fool's game mode, maybe? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was quite quite fun for a little bit. They mentioned in um, Big Cluck, they mentioned in uh, the dev roadmap that the, the last zombie mode is going to be coming back available to like select in the arcade tab just whenever the one that was kind of like back for blood left for dead style which kind of makes sense because i mean it was a good fun mode a lot of people liked it and i think they were gonna they're gonna make changes and updates to it and it's also one you can play with just like your squad versus bots you don't have to have like a lobby populated to play it you can just get four of you and you can play it or whatever um so that was kind of cool idea and they also mentioned that Fantasy Royale or Fantasy BR or whatever it's called is going to come back at some stage this year, which is one of my favorite little silly mini game modes they've ever done. That's the one where you have like the Berserker with the giant sword and the Ranger with the crossbow and the wizard who throws spells or whatever. It's just a really fun, silly game mode to binge on for a couple of days. PUBG's seventh anniversary going on at the moment. The coasters I have on my desk are coasters from the fourth anniversary they sent. Which is kind of wild. PUBG's fourth anniversary. It's like an engraved wooden coaster. It's got sand up on the back. Pretty neat, right? It's got a few of them. There's like a Sanok boot camp. Can't get a game on any of these map on this map these days, but got it on my coaster to bring back happy memories. Yeah, I've got a few of them knocking around. There's like Aaron Gore and whatever. And... Yeah, fourth anniversary. 2021, I guess. Those are badass. They're really nice, aren't they? Yeah, that's, they, they've sent me loads of stuff over the years. And then the good stuff is what I've tended to keep like that. You know, like the skateboard deck. I've got your TPG coasters dotted about my place. Ah, nice. You got a lot of those, Jack? love that i've still got tons of those i need to organize sending out maybe we'll do another run of pubg uh pubg of tbg like goodie bags to patreon supporters who never got one in the first place because i've still got hundreds of those tbg coasters and bar blade bottle opener things and the stickers and stuff yeah i remember you saying you never got one i do need to send one to you so yeah, maybe I'll have to send them out. They're just sitting there doing nothing. So I just need to get around to posting them. Do you still have the, the Parmo Rock? I do. I've got my Paramo Rock. It's in the garden. Still got the flag. It's not a flag. It was a uh, it was a beach towel. The Sanok beach towel. But yeah, I've still got that. It's not up. It's just a packed away now. But I've got that. TBG beer mats holding up nicely. Got your stickers on your luggage to make it easy to pick out of the airport. Oh, I love that. That's great. Decent quality, to be fair. Got a few on my desk. A couple by TV and one on Zelda's desk. Some new... This not new merch. This is merch that I got made two or three years ago. And for... Uh, and I, it was like a, I did a run of gift bags for our Patreon supporters. Of, I don't know, a certain tier or above. Like a $10 tier or above or something. And I got a load of stuff made. But yeah, I mean, the coasters were like, it was nice doing it like that rather than through like, you know, one of these merch websites like Teespring or whatever, where you don't really know the quality of the stuff. It's the order through the website and then you don't necessarily know the quality of the merch that's getting sent out. Whereas this, I bought it all myself in bulk first and then posted it myself. So I went to a company that just makes beer mats for big brands and events and then got them to make them and send them to me. And, um, you know, so I knew they were really good quality rather than just some, like, cheap shite that gets churned out by a, an online merch company. So it's it's nice stuff. How do I get my hands on these? Well, I haven't sent any out for years. They're just sitting in a box here. But, um, yeah, the if I do send some out, I will... Um, I'll try and get round to it. Maybe when I figure out doing some sort of patreon special stream that i'm going to do patreon only streams then i can i can relaunch it with that so we can say we'll have the, like the patreon only videos or streams or whatever and then we'll also do a new run of the gift goodie bags and send them out to anyone who wants them who's a patreon supporter of a certain tier or above kind of have to do a certain tier above because it i remember i think it costs like 
I can't remember it was. It was some. It was. I think it was nearly a tenner to send one to people in America. It's pretty expensive to post stuff to America. I've worn the heck out of my TBG Ramon style shirt. Logo barely visible. Oh, I love that. I've I've got two of them, but I had to stop wearing them because. After getting washed so much, they got a bit small and tight, and then they just get very stinky. But I fucking love that shirt. It's a great logo. It's not helpful. Need a bloody helmet. Oh, there's one. Picked up an axe at some, some juncture. Yeah, I really love those beer mats. I was pretty, pretty pumped when uh, we got those sorted out. It's a blue chip transmitter. Oh my god, that's so useful. Is that a desk pop? Oh, is, are you in here? He seemed kind of oblivious. I thought he might not realize what it was. He might thought it was like a little, little happy present. Little friendly, little friendly present for him. Oh, thank you. That's handy. Please don't shoot me in the butt. Can I get away with proning here? Well, whatever. We'll just do it. Let's see if we live. It's my, my motto. We die, we die. Cool. Still going to be someone in, um, you know, in grid. I didn't even see him, and he bloody clonked me. Not really a fight we want to take on versus a bolty, is it? Will C4 stick on a player? Um, sadly not. Sadly not. TBG Ramon shirt sounds killer. Yeah, it's a kind of a play on the classic like circular Ramones logo. It looks pretty badass. You need 13 minutes more on stream to get your spray. Don't die. <laughs> Um, right. Keen, isn't he? Oh my god, honestly? Really? You're miles away, mate. Good tag, though. Give him credit.
Does the pan over the C4 stop it killing you? No, not anymore. It used to. That used to be a thing. And then we all kind of started doing it. And then they changed it. But uh, for, a, for a, a short moment in time, that was a, a beautiful thing you could do. Hey, buddy. You did not have much stuff. Turning it down? No, you don't insult the queen, for goodness sake. She's got a hell of a job on it. It's hard work. Hey, buddy. Nice. Got the moves. Enjoyed that. Nearly got caught out with the reload there, but uh, managed to leap ourselves to safety. Cool. That rail got tag teamed by us both. Should we go um, N249 like this? Might be kind of fun. Then we don't have to reload. Um, yeah, nice. We'll go get the uh, vehicle over here if it's still here, I guess. Poor old chief. He had a nice outfit on. I liked his, his get up. Cheers, Killer B. Appreciate that. I just started playing PUBG from Warzone, which I, which I still play, but looking to change from. Oh, hang about. Watching your tips channel, sorting my settings, having a great time playing. Nice. Love that. It's going to go get this vehicle, but someone is shooting over here. Oh. Stop. Where are you? Hey, Sinster, how you doing, mate? Sorry for the motion sickness. <laughs> oh! Those shots were really close, and then... And then I don't know where they went. Oh, you're right there. Nice. 
That's the stream sniper. Hey, Dean Sinister. Nice to see you, mate. Have I seen the new Fallout TV show teaser? Looks awesome. Does look great, doesn't it? I'm looking forward to that a lot. I was a massive Fallout 4 fan. They're also doing a, um, like a remaster of, well, not like a remaster, but like a next gen update for, um, for the console version, which I'm looking forward to a lot. It's going to be interesting to see, like, I, had, I don't know if I even ever played Fallout 4 on console. I feel like I played it on PC and it was kind of before, I think it was before I was doing YouTube and stuff. But, um, but I'm quite looking forward to that. I think it'd be nice, nice to try out. There's room. We don't know when that's going to be, but there's rumors that that's going to be when, um, when they might try and release it in line with when the, uh, TV series comes out. I like the way we have to say current gen instead of next gen now <laughs> i'm looking forward to that I, I do want to play it i'm hoping i can fig justify a way to play it on the channel i'm hoping there'll be enough like hype and interest to do some youtube content on it we'll, we'll wait and see certainly for a short while let's talk about vans and vans it's the first time i wrote current gen yeah Thanks to the PUBG roadmap, roadmap saved me watching it all. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, my video wasn't much shorter than the actual roadmap video, but you don't have to sit there and read subtitles for 24 minutes and try and figure it out. New Vegas was definitely best so far. I never played New Vegas, funnily enough. I played Fallout 4 and I played Fallout 3 a lot. But New Vegas I never played. Kind of never got around to it. They've got this Fallout London mod coming out as well at some point which looks very interesting but it's only going to be on um on pc but again if i can find a way to like justify doing content on that then i'll then i'll play it i can't be bothered to read well exactly well people not being bothered to do things is why you know what i'm catering for Fallout London, it rains 95% of the time. Exactly. It's what people want. <laughs> it's what people want from their games. But yeah, it's kind of cool seeing, um, you know, seeing London in like a Fallout setting. Pretty badass. Kind of down. Down for that. The most exciting thing about the next gen will be seeing what random ass name Xbox go with this time. The Xbox Series X. I feel like most of the things on the Series X I play barely seem to challenge it anyway. It never seems to run particularly hot or loud. I feel like that's a good, that's a sign that it's, you know, it's pushing it, right? Hot and loud. The Xbox PlayStation. It'd be a bold move, wouldn't it? Stacks of coins.
Where are you all? Oh, people behind me. Are they all dropped over here? Bosh. Yep. Just saw a whisker of movement there, maybe? A whisker? I keep saying whisker. A whisper? A oh, oh, whisper. Maximus. Yeah, so, oh, there he is. Hello. Let's sneak up behind him. into the hills and shoot down maybe I don't know how effective I'm gonna be with this thing from uh, this kind of range oh he probably saw me he was kind of looking this way fuck off get off my screen Hey, buddy. Where's your boys? Um, do we need an E pickup? Maybe. We need that now. Just run two of these for the lols. Find a 6x. We do not need the E pickup. Lovely fireworks going on off over there. This guy didn't seem to have anyone attempting to assist him, did he? Nameplate acquired, you may die now. It's good to know, thank you. Oh, here, man. This man. Puh. Not a good place to stop, sir. That was maybe the lad who let the uh, let the fireworks off. Some of 28 weeks later was filmed on my street. Hazmats. Uh, but you can see your cars. So I feel like I've seen a Fallout version of London. Oh, nice. That's cool. Anybody else? Where's the rest of these bloody Larrys for me to shoot? We got the loadout. I thought he was going to retrieve a chip. Yeah, I thought he was maybe going for this guy's... This guy's blue chip. I mean, maybe he was and he had to stop to try and figure out where it was or something. Guess if I'd been paying attention, I could have checked their team team numbers, but not not paying enough attention for that. Sorry, burnt out cars. Right, got you. Gotcha. Oh, hello. I see, man. Was it just the movement of this plant looking a bit weird? I thought I saw someone over here.
Maybe not. I can hear little birdies. There's a bird cage somewhere, but I can't. I don't think I can hear any humans. That's the main concern. Um, I don't know if I want to drive around. Feels a bit risky in one man's, doesn't it? We'll go and we'll go and get near a car so we got the option. I feel like this is somewhere where teams might rock up to get more loot, but that'd be then they'd be quite stacked. Brands. We got everything we want really, apart from um a six X would have been would have been nice. I'm enjoying our silly loadout. Where's that little garage you get around here, is it? And this one up here, isn't it? Well, you do... There is a road here, might have cars. We'll have a quick look before we run over to that. Um, yes, there is a car. Maybe we should try and get an airdrop. Get the fancy pants gear. I'm going to take the fast car. Thank you. Don't need extra passenger seats. You're gonna fast car. And other other lyrics. Nearly unlocked some more useless guff with our missions. Excellent. Love to hear that. Uh let's just get more central, I guess. And it's gonna be easier to get an airdrop when one drops. So many cars here. I guess one of those people. Rocked up in a vehicle a little bit late. <gasps> Pico bus. Oh, I can't resist taking a Pico bus. No sign of the airdrop yet. Pico, Pico bus. I don't want it. Get out of here. Mm, it's probably a spawn. That's sort of fairly, fairly central. Hey, hot potato, how you doing? Lovely to see. I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Target acquired. It's going to be over here. There we go. Pico Boss away! It does move, doesn't it? The acceleration is just insane. Oh, don't drive into the water, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pico Buzz, halt! Okay, we're fine. Is it in the water, or is it... Um, kind of over there. Okay. Crack on. Good to see you back on pubbers. By the way, there were some dark days when we lost you to Starfield. I mean, that's going back a bit. I've been streaming PUBG three days a week for the, the last four or five months. But uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Ooh, okay. Sure. I will take that.
Maybe we'll take the ghillie as well. And a C4, for good measure. <gasps> Sorry, Bamboo. Now, where are all the teams on this map? It's 46 people alive. We haven't seen anyone outside of where we dropped. I guess you can just come in so late. Everyone's on top of these mountains. There's probably 30 people on top of that one. Exactly. It gives off a very threatening aura, this, this loadout and giddy combination. That's what I'm going for. Oh, this looks like a bush to hide in, doesn't it? Imagine that. Can we hide in that bush? Be a bold play, wouldn't it? We need a suppressor to do that. Maybe an Atex. <laughs> there are some pretty big bushes in this. I mean, Tago has got the best of the bushes, isn't it? The Tago bushes are just nuts. You can get lost for days in the Tago bushes. Where am I? I'm right in the middle of the circle. It's not probably not ideal. <gasps> a vehicle. Oh. Oh, they... Did he mean to get out? <laughs> GG's guys. <laughs> Excellent. Great work. I thought he was like skillfully dropping off his teammate to go and reposition the vehicle somewhere else, but I think they maybe crashed in the accident. <laughs> he just got out. <laughs> Molly's should burn down bushes too. Oh yeah, that's I like that. That'd be nice. Do a bit of deforestation. Ah, oh, that's what we wanted. Um, I think we're fine for all that, aren't we? More smokes could be pretty handy, given um. I don't know if they have a six. I'm kind of tempted to have a six for the. For this guy. Yeah. Let's see what we get on. Got your ATEX to the bush. <laughs> Pico bus inbound. Oh, where did it pull up? I think it was over there. I don't think it's far away. It's so hard to tell, like, the the direction of the P... Oh! Direction of a Pico bus. It's very hard to identify. These guys on each other's teams, or...? Mm. Not really sure. <laughs> I think that was a different Pico bus. Uh, maybe. Possibly. Need a ghillie suit for the van. Turn it into a hunting blind. Yeah, pop a big old, you know, camouflage rug over the top of me, me van. Hide inside that. Perfect. The perfect crime. Over there somewhere. Behind the thingies doing the thingy. Just what I suspected. The dog bus from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, what a brand tie-in that would be. I mean, I know it's a little dated, but I would love to see that. That would be fantastic. And they could put the most annoying noise in the world in as an emote you could do. It'd be brilliant. The new play zone. Oh, 
Oh, that's a guy laying prone. I thought it was a dead guy. Oh, I would have had a shot. Oh, the blue might get him as well. They're running off. Yes. Leave him. Leave him to die. No, don't go back. You'll never save him. Ooh. Good shot, wasn't it? Oh, that was so close to re-knock him. I can hit him, didn't we? <laughs> That's the downside of being uh, versus squads. Oh, look, there's four of them in that as well. Oh, this won't get out of that. Oh, it's a nice arm shot, though. Enjoyed that a lot. I'll take that. If that happens, dog bus and the worst sound in the world, I'll buy you a PS5 to play Helldivers 2 with. Thanks. I'll take that. Slim chance, but could happen. Uh, nice. All right. Well, I think that's a good, um, good ending point for me. But thanks so much for hanging out today. Big thank you to all the subs, the Patreon supporters, the YouTube members. You are all fantastic. Uh, I will be back on Friday. Patreon squads. I'll actually be streaming tomorrow as well. Oh, sorry, Dowser, you donated through Super Chat. I missed that, Dowser. Thank you so much for the Super Chat earlier. You're absolute legend. Apologies. A bit slow there. Um... I'm going to stream this game tomorrow, Outcast and New Beginning, possibly just on YouTube. I might do it on Twitch as well. I'm not certain yet, but it might just be a YouTube stream for a couple of hours. But this game comes out on Friday. I'm allowed to stream it tomorrow about 2 p.m. UK time. So I'll be on then um, to stream that for a few hours. It's like an open worldy, explorey game. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty fun. So um, yeah, nice. All right. Have a lovely rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye-bye.